Hmm. I'm a hater though on social media. It should, it should not be one. Huh? I don't know. It, it's fun. I'm tired of seeing geeks with nice stuff that I don't have. <laughs> of a high definition of hate. <laughs> Yo, sneak this listeners, Bet Online is your number one source for all your summer sports this season from MLB, golf, NBA, and NHL playoff stats. All the latest stats, news, and scores available to follow your favorite teams. Get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds on just about every sport out there. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get in on the action. Bet online where the game starts. Bet responsibly. You can throw it. Huh? It's only a 14. I don't know, throw that phone. It's only, it's only a 14. 14. There we go. What's the newest one? 15? I think so. They've been sending me emails for about two years over that new phone. Dang, I saw a new iPad Air. I never even heard of that. Uh, all I know is they charge way too much for a battery these days. I got the battery replaced in this. It used to be $35. I think it was like $135. Bro, you better buy that yourself and put it in. I did that last time. Bought it myself. It came with the tools and everything. I felt like a, a engineer. I was like, oh, shit, look at me. They made me, make, they made me drive down there twice, too. So you got, they got I me mean, add the gas, tack the gas onto it. If you tell them that, they'll give it to you for free. They fixed my laptop for free and Rocio spilled red wine in it. And I was like, man, come oh, on. she spilled red wine and what? The she spilled red wine in the laptop and she oh, spilled it right laptop. on the back of the fan. The fan sucked that joint up. Uh, that was it. <laughs> the actual screen went like this, like. <laughs> 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 it looked yeah, like uh, Spider Verse. It looked like when he was glitching in Return of Spider Verse or whatever the Miles Morales is called. Miles Morales. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yo. Look at this. I'm about to send you this. This is crazy. Yo, sneak this podcast. Episode 358. George, did you send it? I did. Let me it's, see. I mean, fam. His what's left forearm. Hold on now. Looking at a baseball pitch. Somebody gets struck in the arm. Ooh. <laughs> He's. Ah, fam. He <laughs> yelled loud, like, huh? His stuff is broke. Ooh, he yelling. Elbow. Ooh, let's go back. Fam, he actually howling. Come on, man. Don't you got protection? Pause. <laughs> Wait, did he get hit by the bat or the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his mouth. Pause. Ah. And Contreras sees that left hand go numb. Where did this clip him? Fam. What did he show how he got hit? The bat. Oh, was the bat? Yeah. Oh, I thought the, the ball bat. hit him crazy. <laughs> Man, oh, you should be suspended. Oh, you hit the catcher with the bat. No, read the thing. It says they moved the catcher up to try to steal more strikes. Oh, oh, then the manager should be uh, fine. Anyway, stick this podcast episode 358. Catcher's mom might have to go beat him up. Huh? I would be heated. Uh, George, Greg, back in the building. Appreciate everybody. Like, subscribe, share this podcast. Appreciate being on the Believe platform. Like I said, we will be going back to doing weekly episodes. I'll be doing one from the house and obviously one in the studio with my dog, George. And anybody else who pulls up to the podcast just today is just George and I. Uh, we are doing top 10. I'm assuming George made a list. Who knows? Top 10. Always make a list. Cult classic sneakers to us. I think I got a 10 and like another 10 honorable mention because I really don't know what that means. But. I don't either. I was going to ask you what that means. <laughs> I was driving I was driving yesterday and I typed in Google. I shouldn't be typing while I'm driving, but I typed in what is cult classic? I mean? just assume it means it has like a following of a lot of people. Like, or like there's a reason, there's some reason that people like it other than the shoe just being nice. I mean, I right? agree with that, but I also because a cult but, movie was like a movie that kind of like that's the only thing that pops up, up is movie. Front, See, that's what I'm now, talking about. Now everybody loves it. Well, like like Big I Lebowski think, wasn't a hit immediately, but now they, they do like a convention every year called a 
and uh, see what's his name in the movie? The Dude Convention or the something. The Dude. See, I I saw what I looked at it like it's a cult classic because like it sucks. Like Oh, I didn't do that. I mean, no, that's how, not, not, not that it, no, I didn't do that either, but like I view that as kind of a cult classic thing too. Like Anyways, if you type cult classic in Google, the only thing that comes up is movies. It, nothing else. No definition, no nothing. So I had to type in the definition, and it just said, like, a following something, whatever. And too many things came up about actual cults. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not reading that. <laughs> Although I was highly interested in actual cults, though. But just to kind of get well, a better I'm understanding. I'm surprised though. by that. Well, I told you that Scientology building by your house, I want to go in it. <laughs> I told Ruby that you wouldn't go with me, and I was like, well, next time she come and tell him. To- All right, I'm going to give an example because I know, like, uh, Ricardo and Andy probably thinking of plotting how to make fun of me on this anyways. But to me, this is, what, this is, on, my honor- this is on my honorable mention list. Russ Pink Highs would be a cult classic because okay. it only came at uh, Art Basel. And okay. the only reason people love it is because it's, I'm a, I was going to say short printed, but what, <laughs> that's a card term. Uh, a, a low print run, or what? A low, what is I it? A low. Shirt, uh, all right. You got shirt's out of control. Though. You got uh, uh, loose uh, threads on your arm right here. I that's told cool. you, man. Like, what the heck, man? Yo, whatever in that thing from from the homie, man, I'm gonna have to put that on. Huh? <laughs> I forgot about that. We supposed to do that yet? Or I would do that uh, after pickup. I would do that uh, before pickups. But yeah, like it only came out Art Basel, and everybody was like, "Oh yeah, those are okay." And then the green one, those are okay. And then once they realized it wasn't that many pairs, and that's the only way you get it, then prices went like this. I'm glad you said that because those may be on my list. Because okay. today, first of all, they weren't that fire when they first came out, but today they're definitely not fire. There have been way too many sneakers that have come out that look like very similar to it. They have no excitement. That color, come on. I, I feel mean, like pink comes out a week on a Jordan 1. Well, you're just like. saying that because shoes in general aren't, don't make you excited. But well, rust pinks are still fire. Yes. I don't know about the other one. The other one kind of sucks. But The igloo, whatever it was called. That's Ice stupid, Blue. That's a stupid name, too. Nah, I mean, they're should, all stupid names. But they should have sued over that name. I mean, the joints are called <laughs> Lightnings and they're not and yellow, yellow. Lightning ain't yellow, is it? Fam, I was thinking about that logo the other night. She made Thunder logo with a lightning bolt. Well, yeah, but you can't make. <laughs> I, I understand that, but <laughs> yeah, it's not light. It's not the Oklahoma KC it's lightning. It's the only indication of Thunder. Nah, fam, thunder. Thunder. No, we say that, but we don't know what Thunder <gasps> really is. That's why. Yeah, it's a sound. Huh? Exactly. It's like Jesus clapping or something. <laughs> yeah, clapping booty cheeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we open at that now, actually. You know, because shout out to shout out to the homie. It's from the homie Old Ass Killer. This is his own brand, own merch. He has sent me something before a while this ago. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shirts. It's actually the Jordan logo, and he's a skeleton though. This might have anthrax in it. I mean, that's why I had you open it. It's messed up. I read the ad and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, what was that? Matter of fact, while I'm doing this, what was that thing that was going around social media today with uh, Maul and Rory yelling on the mic? So I didn't even like, watch it. Happened? I saved it in my, my videos. I saved it because I was like, I'm going to go back and watch it. Because I see him yelling crazy, though. And yeah. and and, and, twi- and trending was OVO Maul. OVO Maul. Oh, Damn. it had something to do with that? I thought it had something to do with Joe Budden. Or I, that's nah, my it was about was. Drake. Them. What size is it? Ooh, right. was that Forrest Green? Can't tell yet. Ugh, sick with it. And it you got the Forrest green. green hat on. Be kind or shut the fuck up. Yeah, I like that. Might be my favorite mm. sticker. I might have to keep that. Put that on your water bottle. <laughs> this one is marijuana sticker. This is for Gregory. Ain't no note in there or something? <laughs> I haven't got that for it yet. Oh, all right. I mean, you sure the merch? No, that's just a sticker. Oh, okay. There's not a note in there. I mean, there's something on the box. Dang, no note or nothing? Look, I need to know this what size, because I'm already changing shirts. So. This I'm one, changing. this one says Crucial Vision, and I'm not. I'm gonna cover up the shoes on here because we don't want them to get sued. Crucial Vision. <laughs> See, he sent me a shirt with that logo on it. Fire. It is fire. That's Long what, time ago. That's your sticker. I be wearing that joint too. I wear I it with satin people, pants. I be telling people, be kinder. F- STFU. What is it? STFU. Yeah. So. You don't. You're not kind. Well, what size is that? A, this is an L. Nice. Let me get that large. I'm putting it on now. This T-shirt I got on now yeah. is going straight to the garbage. I hate it. 
Look at that. Team Vision. That's Vision, right? VSN? I assume. Mm, it says, destroy all doubt, believe in the impossible. Uh, we sick with it. Look at that. That's when they uh, jumped out that high plane and Godzilla. Oh. And they had the, that red That smoke. logo was kind of fire, like, of people. I don't. I would never skydive personally, but I kind of like the logo of, like, skydiving. That's kind of dope. I like it because we we in this all together. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that's the main logo of the company, or this, this is the logo of the shirt? Fam, I don't know, man, but shout out to my homie, old ass killer. I don't know, but that green one is, is kind of saucy. I got a green hat on, so this I don't know if this works. This joint is going straight in the trash, right? <laughs> Look at that. I made it, too, in the trash. Cause this, I mean, you kind of made it. Uh, it's on the rim. Hey. <laughs> I may have to change the hats, though. Luckily, I bring up backup hats. I got a lot of white linen on me. On my face. Head. Oh, your head? No. Nothing like that. Nah, no. we're going with the purple hat now. Even though there's no purple on this. Oh, yeah, the purple hat fit better, too. Ugh. <laughs> Nasty with it. Shout out to the dog. Shout out to the homie, man. Crucial Vision. We appreciate the shirts. Put that joint on immediately, man. That shirt I had on right now, that joint, whack. You I had never wore that shirt, and I was like, yo, let me grab this for the podcast. Man, garbage. Huh? <coughs> that joint sucks. For those listening in their car, I just changed shirts. So don't don't get don't don't be alarmed. Cass be like, yo, can you describe what you're doing? I'm listening <laughs> in my car. Him, I just changed shirts, man. Shout out to the homie old ass killer, man. Describe what you're Go check doing. him out, follow his page, go cop some shirts, man. Cop some merch, man. It's something new that he's doing. He out here, man. So we appreciate you, like always, man. Uh, but like I said, we're doing top 10 cold sneakers to us. My list is fire. I'm surprised you may put as many on your list as far. I, I, I'm pretty confident our list is going to be pretty similar, in a sense. Man, they need to give us a discount for how bad this internet is. Who, here? Oh, yeah, this is your sticker, too. Let me see that. Crucial vision of him. He, he doing a layup. Let's huh? throw it. Where? Be, there you go. Look at that. He doing a layup. Actually, this is yours, too. Mm. Or you can give this one to uh, give him Cortez. Cortez. He puts them on his uh, wall or whatnot. Wait a minute, is this marijuana? No, oh, that's I was joking. Yeah, you but, said marijuana. Yeah, because you smoke marijuana. No? Nope. But this, uh, but this one right here, be kind or STFU. That's a, that's up my alley. Pause. Yeah, that's yours. I'm not giving that to Cortez. But appreciate the homie, man. Uh, pick up, George. You cop anything? Uh, absolutely not. Oh, dang! I forgot to bring Hannah shoes. You're a bad person, though. I keep forgetting them joints in a girl. Hey, what size is Hannah wearing men's? Eight. Oh, okay, I got some Vans for her too. I put them in the box for her because I was like, I accidentally bought. Nine and a half women's. <laughs> you got confused on the European website again. No, because huh? they don't ever say it doesn't say men or women's. It just had a it just had the number. You bought E U R thirty seven. Them joints <laughs> came in. <laughs> them joints came in the mail. I was like, ooh. I was like, what the? It was the same size as my hand. I was like, man. I was like, well, these going in the closet. I ain't shipping these back to end or wherever I got these joints. They've been in my closet for about a year and a half, maybe two years. I mean, some I, of them give you a free shipping label, but a lot of them stores are closed by now. So. Not end. Uh, Oh, that's where it's from? Yeah, they don't do, they don't be, uh, they make you pay for your shipping back now. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. I ain't pay. You think I paid $35 to that? send that back to the, to the United Kingdom? No sorry. <laughs> the United Kingdom? Uh, What else do we get? We get anything in the box? What do you want to say that? Ain't, there's not a note in there. Unless I'm blind, well, I was we, we, we got a uh, military force waiting for us. <laughs> so, said he, they waiting for us. Yeah. No, uh, I, really, I, I actually have a pair already. Did he put a note in the box? Man. But we got military fours. got a pair already, man. I got military fours off the shock drop, but I gave those to Oscar. Um, That's the last thing I need, but hey, I appreciate it. And that's about it, I think. I mean, I feel like we got some other stuff coming. You don't order uh, Booker Rattlesnakes, did you? Nah, but I'm going to at some point. No, not the not the hike one. Yeah. The oh, rattlesnake. Oh no, no, I want that first one. Okay, the rattlesnake come out this week. I'm doing it. But I'm not ordering it until I'm in a better headspace with Devin Booker because. Oh I, yeah, you know I'm not. I talked about uh, Booker with Johnny today. Devin Booker is actually like, if you look at his numbers, fam, he's been in the league already like eight nine years. He's Damn. literally already Hall of Famer, but. He ain't never going to win nothing. Dever Booker was, what, 23 or something? 24? <laughs> he been in the league forever. Devin Booker been in the league since we started this podcast, I think. <laughs> I'm about to look it up. I, mean, I, I talked know. about, 
I talked about Devin Booker possibly being a top ten all. He's still only twenty seven years old. He's only wait. He's that old. I mean, now, Devin Booker can't be twenty seven. Been in the year, the league eight years. Okay, nine years. but I thought he was younger than that. Devin Booker got in the league at nineteen. Damn, I think twenty seven is young. <laughs> like, I mean, you mean, it's young, but I thought he was still twenty four, twenty five. Like, he's been in the league for his a birthday minute. is not till the end of October. He's still gonna be young. He's still gonna be twenty seven when the next season starts. Well, good. I'll wear Booker's again in October when his birthday hit around oh, because bro. I'm not wearing them this summer. My Booker's will not see the sunshine this year. That playoff performance yeah. and stuff like that, I already talked about it. I got, I'm got, i not in a good space with him right now at and, all. And he's goofy, too. I don't know what that – it was a, a commercial or a video or whatever. He's goofy, dude. Fam, I'm sitting there looking at him talking about Call of Duty, play him as Call of – play him on Call of Duty. <laughs> Fam, I'm not yeah. playing with nobody who can't shoot. Be it. <laughs> like, I'm not playing with you. You Be can't shoot. You want to shoot somebody, shoot the rim. BFF with uh, Cheech Marin. Who was that Who that was in that screenshot I sent you? Oh, yeah. It was it was, uh, <laughs> Cheech. It was Cheech, Cheech and KD and him. Both KD and him on Call of Duty. Dude. They should shoot at each other. 0 for 7, huh? They should shoot at each other. They still yeah. be alive. And miss, huh? <laughs> <laughs> KD and D Booker shooting at each other on Call of Duty is funny, or whatever that was. I, I assume it's Call of Duty, or was that witchcraft yeah, or war, witchcraft. Fortnite, whatever it's called. Let's see. Booker has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seasons over 22 points per game. Basically, seven seasons at 25 points per game or higher. One was 24.9. I'm going to just give it to him, 25. And one, his rookie year, he was at 13.8. Hall of Famer. So he's basically already a Hall of Famer, but the sad part is he ain't never going to win nothing. Now, I'll say this much, because we were talking about it from the standpoint of like his cards or whatever, because Booker stuff is super cheap for what it is. He... You your your card prices are built off hype more than anything else. Like Lucas are high, probably partially because he's white, but also because so maybe the market's a little bit bigger for a white player. But also, he's people also love really watching Luca get triple doubles and stuff. Right. Luca's not just white; he's really good. No, I understand that. I'm just saying, like <laughs> that might open his market up a little bit because it doesn't make sense that his card prices are more than Booker's, considering what they've each done in the league. The hype factor is the difference between those two players because Luca ain't won nothing either. Yeah. Now he's had some years with higher points average. He had a year over thirty or whatever. But the hottest person on the planet right now, obviously, is Ant. Ant's prices are insane in cars or whatever else. But part of what that is is he be out there dunking on people, shooting over the double teams, yeah, talking screaming, to the, talking, talking, to the talking crowd, junk, talking yeah. junk. So they should put a mic on him. But. Somehow, like I remember when they did the trade. I don't know if you got this on the topics, anyways, but I'm oh, just gonna shit. say it now. But Damn. what? You made me think that you forgot to record again. Huh? Nah. Uh, I'm sure that fan was fine. Um, and what was talking about? Ant? Say Ant Man prices. No, I know, but we you. I think we were just talking about. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, just uh, T-Wolves in general. Like I said, I don't know if you got a topic or not, but because everyone thought that Nuggets were just going to go through whatever. But I didn't. when we laughed when they made the trade for Frenchie. Oh, yeah. But that's actually, I think, the thing that allows them to beat the Nuggets because you have Frenchie and Cat, and so Jokic can't make all those like little <laughs> sneaky passes inside that he normally does. Frenchie didn't even play last night, though. I and know, that but, defense but, was ridiculous. But in game one, he played yeah, and he yeah, locked yeah. him up in that game. Fam. The only reason why we made fun of that trade for Gobert is because it's Gobert. Well, when they, <laughs> no, but when they first played a couple games after that, they looked whack. I mean, well, yeah, they, they looked a little out of sorts. Yes, uh, way out of sorts. But what makes it work is that Cat doesn't play like he should play at, for his size. So if he wants to stretch the floor and you want to give Gobert the middle, then it's perfectly fine. I mean, yeah, if he's making 40% from three, it's fine. Yeah. But if he ain't making 40% from three, then... Yeah. Shout out to them, man. Uh, let's do releases then. But, but listen, that's, I get it. People don't want to call him Jordan or LeBron or whatever yet or whatever. Fam, Ant-Man is that guy. The That guy. If he... If he gets, I don't care nothing about the shoes or none of that. He's that guy. If he gets to the finals, he's C.J. Stroud, that guy. Well, let's not jump the gun on C.J. Stroud. <laughs> like C.J. Stroud I just had a, sneak in had a phenomenal huh? year. 
<laughs> but football is way different, boy. You could be <laughs> as high as a kite one one year and low as a uh, the street the next. Uh, you can be low. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, but he he's. I mean, he was gonna go to releases or whatever anyways but i don't think he's like volatile like a kyler or whatever i think he's like too even even keel or whatever i don't view kyler as volatile i view kyler as or lamar or whoever like you could be super up and then you could have a wax season or whatever whoever you want to say well the problem with those two are stroud doesn't rely on his legs like and stroud doesn't feel like he can do it all by himself but he relies on pocket movement yeah he relies on mobility but he reminds me of early russell wilson that's what it reminds me of. He he runs when he has to, and he's good at it. And he can run and can throw really good on the on the run. And he's a better deep ball than Russell Wilson, I think, maybe at that at that stage in their career. But that's who he reminds me of. Smart, patient. I, I mean, I would say runs the offense. He has a better arm for velocity, but I think maybe he's a little bit more accurate. But I think Russell Wilson was always the best deep ball pause thrower in the league. Uh, I, I, I yeah, I thought he had a great deep ball. Like maybe he was good, especially on the run. So but that's who he reminds me of. Uh, Lamar and Kyler, they remind me of each other. Obviously not in size, but they, their first option is hike or start running as fast as they possibly can <laughs> because that's just their natural thought process. Uh, Lamar tries to stand there for a second, but a lot of that is just showmanship. Like stand there, do your little bounce, look left, look right, and then he's ready to dip. He ain't, got, he ain't looking for nobody to throw that ball to. Well, he's looking for one. He's looking for the tight end. But yeah, that's, that's the only one. Now they got Zay, though. Look out. If Zay, wouldn't yeah, Zay, is, Zay is good. Zay, if Zay's, Zay's goofy ass wouldn't have fumbled that ball, they would have been the ones winning the Super Bowl. Zay is good, but I mean, and now look, I don't know what Fumbling the separation, I don't know how much separation Beckham was able to get in, while his time with the Ravens, but it seemed like he just could not figure out how to get the ball to Odell. Like, and there were times I thought he couldn't get it to Zay. Zay's like, younger. Uh, yes, he's obviously, he's about, what, 10 years younger, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Where does Zay play at? Alabama? No. Arkansas? Uh, Boston College. Oh, that's right, Boston College. What come out this week, fam? Uh, today's the seventh, right? Let's see. I got a uh, crick in my neck. Is that how you say it? A crick? I thought a crick was the land, uh, body of water <laughs> 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 that you jump into. A crick. <laughs> uh, today the women's dunk low iridescent swoosh released. It's not half bad. I wouldn't wear it, but it's not that bad. Well, that's for women. Yes. Uh, cactus Plant Flea Market, Air Force One. Fire. Um, black I tried, and white pair. man. I tried for the yeah. green pair Fire on the shock drop. Strong. Huh? Fire is way too strong. Oh, but you okay with them, though, right? I mean, <laughs> if you say fire too strong, I mean you okay with them. Hey. Now, the black pair sucks. Okay, let's just keep it a buck. The other ones, they're okay. What, the purple and green one? Listen, it doesn't. it's not the cactus plant flea market that looks like Oscar the Grouch that people wear around and think is fire. Yes. I like it. This camera was recording, right? Yep. Okay. Just making sure. Blinking lights. All right, yours is too. Flashing lights like Kanye, you know? Uh, Forrest Gump Cortez. I think I got like two pairs. I'm well, surprised you don't have more than that. This joint's premium QS, though, which means I might have to see it. You know? Cause I don't think mine premium. <laughs> I don't know if mine yeah, premium. You got the original pair from the movie. The, the prop. I wish. Zoom. Uh, LeBron four eggplant. I don't know why I said zoom. It's a zoom. <laughs> it's called zoom LeBron. Man, I mean, it's LeBron four. I mean, this joint would have been fire about 10, 15 years ago. I mean, you could join the construction crew. The LeBron four is one of the wackest. You could wear those of pants time, with the eggplants, that hat, and go to the construction crew. Yeah, and get in a time machine because it had to be at least what two thousand nine. <laughs> wear a camo and, and basketball sneakers. Mm. Uh, Tatum to Easter. Easter is it Easter already? Wait, didn't Easter pass already? I have no idea. Wait a minute. Oh, Easter already passed. Man, get this out of here. <laughs> He still was in March. It was March 31st. Are you sure about that? 100%. Uh, Air Max One hot sauce. I don't get it. Uh, I mean, I like it. What is that? A foil? Like, what is it? Brisket? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe them joints hot sauce from Man One. Put it in the microwave. Uh. <laughs> them joints is okay. They sterling <laughs> silver hot sauce from Man One. Damn. <laughs> Uh, you want to know what about, he doing? Though. You want to talk about somebody who did not know how to play basketball, but made a lot of money 
pl- f- uh, doing th- basketball related items. I don't know if he made a lot of money. Did you ever uh, watch the N1 documentary? Yeah. Oh, okay. But he thought it was the one that complained about making all the money. Was I think him? he made a lot of money then, but I don't know what he got now. Well, I'm yeah. going to find him on IG and see what he's doing. He see put the ball under pod. his shirt, spun it around, and became a millionaire. You know? Fam, we was locked in. You know? <laughs> Cam, him, Professor, 720, sick with it. Yeah, but all the other them. cats are actually good at the game of basketball. Yeah, he a lot of them actually played basketball. Some of them played in college. Fam, hot sauce with him. <laughs> He brought him out. Yes, he was him before Ant Man. Me and Willis was sitting <laughs> courtside. Uh, me and Willis went to the N one thing, and some man came out of nowhere and go, "Hey, you two, you guys want to be our winners?" We were like, "We didn't do like we just pick winners. Like we didn't even sign up for the thing." And they winners. moved us courtside, and we were sitting courtside by the person keeping score. <laughs> and we was like, "Yeah, you know that's how it's supposed to be done." <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's really what happened. Uh, I'm assuming this is a Lamelo. I don't know what Kid Super Studios is, but Kid some Super Studio, Lamelo, Pink, Lilac. I've looked at some Kid Studio clothing before. Super Studios. Oh, so I only got to do one week now, right? Yep. Oh, one week hey, now. There is a benefit to this. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fang Chang Wang. That sounds Fam, racist. That's a lot of. <laughs> That sounds like if you was trying to be right, you're trying to be funny. That's you're what somebody the king would of say. That, so no, yeah, I'm not. you be trying to, you be saying stuff. Oh, no, nope. yep. I remember some cat was like, and I was trying to pronounce the stuff on the bag on the food. <laughs> no. And some cat put on Twitter, he was like, "Hey man, I've seen people fired for for less." I, yo, <laughs> chill. I, I think I blocked that dude. I was like, "Yo, chill out, bro." Fang nah. Chen Wang. Them joints is fire. Uh, Chuck Taylor's black pair, white pair. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Kendrick's bitch, uh, <laughs> hot step two. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody trying to go outside in these knockers right now, though, <laughs> at all. These ain't seeing the summer either. <laughs> huh? Them joints is OV hoes. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that that song syncs up with any dance video. <laughs> You can find. I haven't seen one video with someone dancing in a t- step. Listen, one, not man. one video doesn't uh, line up perfectly for that. Playing say O V Ho, and he got the little kids from like that, <laughs> like Dance Universe show or whatever that was with Barney or whatever. Fam, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Drake has to be seething. And see, that's the thing. I just assume he don't care. Like, I just nah. don't. When you see all them videos of people in the clubs dancing, yeah, saying but A minor. I don't think he cares because they had Pusha side too when that happened. No. And he just Yeah, but right it wasn't no it. club banger, though. What Pusha made was a fire diss song and, and a killer, but it wasn't in the club. No. That joint is going to be ringing out all at all the beach parties, at <laughs> all the day parties. He might be mad at Mustard, but other than that, I don't think he's No, mad. he's seething. Man. I don't think so. Man. I'm not trying to see Drake... nobody dancing and having a celebration on my diss song. Yeah, man. but that's you. I think Drake's a weirdo like that, like where he no. don't care. He'll no. just make another song. Yes, there's nothing's gonna hurt either one of their mu- music careers or whatever they do. I don't know. Them cats are talking no about that like way, pedal man. stuff might actually fam, hurt them. Fam, fam. I am not trying to go out and possibly walk by a club or a bar and hit that joint played three times on the TNT Nuggets versus uh, Nuggets Wolves game, and it had a picture of Ant, and that joint said they ain't like. I was like, uh oh. I was like, Drake is seething. All right. I don't think he's that. You can't man. even watch. You can't even watch round two Nuggets and Nuggets and Wolves <laughs> without hearing that song. I don't think he cares about that stuff. That's what I'm saying. I, I really think he don't care. Yeah. All right. Cause I would have thought he cared about a lot of other stuff. Now the like he probably firing people left and right. He wanted them people. Then. I don't think he's like that. He's uh, not like Trump. Like in terms of like one little thing, a set of fam. All the stuff people have made fun of Drake over the years, we would have seen it come out before. No, 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 no. Made fun of like he's corny. He's a cl- that's different. Uh, I don't that's think so. internet talking. You calling me a pedophile and they see walking to me being a pedophile and see walking okay. the A minor. The come pedophile on, pedophile is different. That's, that's crazy. Weird. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. That joint is ringing off in the day parties, dude. The brunches is going up. <laughs> nah. Man, that brunch eating a stack of flapjacks. Uh, and they're in there sea walking around your disc. I, <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I, I'd bow out. I'd call up Kendrick and say, look, man, I was tripping. I don't think he cares. I'm dead serious. Nah, I wouldn't call up Kendrick. I just wouldn't make another song. What I think he's just a weird person who doesn't care about that stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Like you saw what uh he's in a uh I don't know if that's true, but the other beef where the gunshots happened, like Drake he's too worried about uh, having somebody go shoot the house up or whatever. I don't know. I mean, listen, it's a conspiracy theory, but I mean, they say it was two shootings at two direct houses that people don't like each other, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what brand this is. It's Matthew. Nike. I just seen this right now. Okie dokie. Fam, what is this? Matthew M. Williams. This is a Toyota Racing Development. Six, <laughs> six, six TRD. TRD. <laughs> this joint. There's a gray pair and a black pair. Don't buy them. I'm just going to tell so you. So it's called a it? Zoom MMW6 TRD Run. Uh, yeah, but the MMW just stands for Matthew, Matthew M. Williams. Williams. Yeah. Who is that? He got his own shoe. He got a PE before... Uh, before Caitlin Clark, <laughs> I couldn't think of no way. Damn, this looks like an architect <laughs> shoe. Like it's got to be Frank Lloyd Wright, brother. Damn, M.M. Williams. You know, it looks like an actual like tool you put buildings together with. I mean, if that joint is at the outlet, I may no, you ain't hot step in it. No, you ain't. I may step to the step right. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Man, what's retail on these? I bet these joints are about three fifty, four hundred. This is very out of the box for Nike. You know? This may be the future. It's fam. Put, put, it, put it back in the box. All right? That's not the future I want. All right. Let me see. Nike MMW. Nike MMW TRD6. I got to find retail on these. God! Say these joints is 350 Uh, I was right, too. Oh, it's a... Uh... Good God. Oh, shoot. They're specifically for running. This man is on a treadmill. This joint says it may be one of the most the best engineered running shoe of all time. Anyways, what's next? Uh, Gel. Is, is this a, a United States Navy boat? What is this? US-5S. US-5S <laughs> Gel Quantum Moss Bamboo. I don't know. It's something that somebody tried to convince. ASIC is killing it. Hey, Tom, I mean, like ASIC's this. been having some good stuff, but that ain't it. ASIC's has been having some all right stuff. All that stuff that people have been going crazy about for the last few months and even in the last year, end of last year, that stuff is mid. It make everybody body look weird. Huh? <laughs> uh, I've been holding that in, so <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. Uh, I think some of that stuff is okay. Now, I'm not paying full price for it, but I'm not paying full price for anything. You ain't even so. paying other price for it because <laughs> you never pick it. Uh, ACG Rufus, this is up your alley. Pause. Uh, no, it's not limestone. You be liking them like uh, male getting shoes. Uh. <laughs> you right, but not <laughs> these ones. There's no reason for these to be ACG. Like, <laughs> why are these? For, why is this all conditioned gear? I think it's for hippies or something. This is look. a mule. I think it's for hippies. I know though. that joint comfortable though. So they could, so they, so a hippie could get ACG wear. This is what you put on to set up the tent. How much does cost? <laughs> you, put on the set of the <laughs> you set the tent up in these. Then you about to go for a hike. You put your boots on. This only, yeah, this the what you use when you inside the tent. You only can set up from the inside <laughs> with these. So you, when you go outside, you got to put the, the hiking boots on. Oh, this next uh, one, no. Vomero Five, designed by Japan. <sighs> Nike need to move their headquarters to Japan <laughs> because these designed by the Japan sneakers are fire. I know you copping these for Hannah. No way, Jose. You don't like these? She got the better one. She might like it. I don't like the pull tabs, but she might like it. Yeah, the pull tabs are a little exaggerated, but this joint is stupid fire. The, I like the color blocking. I just don't like the pull tabs. It makes it look weird. I mean, yeah. The they, swoosh is way bigger, too. Maybe that's what made it look yeah, weird. Yeah, the swoosh. It's, a, it's designed by in Japan. By <laughs> Japan. It's way different. Now, the the original Vomero doesn't have pull tabs. I don't know why they thought that was a good touch, but the swoosh like that? Stupid fire. I think I'm going to try. I got the notifications on sneakers. <laughs> yes, you went back and set them up. Go all the way to the 14th. Uh, No, 13th. No, Four, go to the 14th. 14th is yeah, when just, you... Yeah, just do the 14th. You were going to a different day next week? No, nah, I mean, I may just do the 14th. Curry 4 uh, 2024. Uh, is that a retro? Yeah, oh, yeah, retro. Curry 4 retro. That's weird. We uh, don't need one. He's retro playing shoes. No one asked for one. That's the uh, best. That's the best Curry, though, right there, though. <laughs> Damn. The low top version, not the high I top. I mean, one. did they win a championship when he wore those? Because if not, I think so. White gold. Mm, uh, court victory, French Open. I mean, 
Is it the French Open? Because Michael Chang won in the French Open? Who's this, whose shoe is this? Uh, I mean, it's the Michael Chang shoe, but it's just... They just do, like, uh, uh, Heritage Challenge 2s. U.S. Open, Australia, they got Australian Opens. They got all that. Yeah, the ones but, I got. What's the ones I got? The French yeah, Opens but, with the clay? Yeah, but what's the name, man, won all those? Who? I think. Agassi. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure he. if he didn't win all the Grand well, Slams, he won three of the four. I mean, he probably won the ones they made. They got U.S. Open... They got Wimbledon. I think Wimbledon might be the only one he didn't win. I'm going to look this up now. They got U.S. Open, Wimbledon, French Can't Open. They just got all the Opens in Can't the in the Air Tech Challenge. The they just got all the Air Tech Challenges. <laughs> and I think uh, Victory Pump was their answer to that. So <laughs> they, got, <laughs> they got they got Wimbledons. They got Dang, U.S. Opens. he won the gold medal, too. He's super lit. Who, Agassi? Yep. Agassi was a good tennis player. But oh, he yeah, was, he did win the career Grand Slam. I knew it. He was more interesting than actually, like, Anyways, I'm not gonna slander Agassi. That's my guy. Yeah, he won French and Wimbledon only once, U.S. Open multiple times. I'm not gonna say how many. Do your own research. And Australian the most, which is probably why they did four Australian Opens and only one of the other ones. Good guy, mate. <laughs> Somebody shout out to the homie man. He sent me an Australian Open Air Tech Challenge Two. It's a size nine. And it's a great price. I'm not going to tell anybody nothing because there are haters on here trying to go scoop it. But I may have to cop because they not like us. All right. Am I allowed to say that? They not like us? Who's us when you say us? Black people? No. Nah, talking about this side. Talking about the west side. Oh, is that what it is? I, saw, I take it. Talking about like, uh, like a, spe- a specific side. I don't side. want nobody look at me crazy oh if I say gosh. it. Man, yo, what are you, woke? <laughs> I don't want to be the guy that's in there celebrating, singing, and they looking at me. Nah, like, this, this is a, this is a West Coast. He doesn't thing, even realize they're talking. This is about a West him. Coast versus. K- <laughs> this is a up north versus West Coast things. They not like us. All right? we different on this side. We crip walk. We blood walk. We Hoover Hoover stuff. We do it all. Though. So don't. I'm not trying to hear nothing about no Canadians. Shout out to the Canadians that we know. You the homies and stuff like that. You be back in Canadians. Huh? Like, like when I be talking about crazy about Canada, you be having a back. No, I got a. Kith Canada shirt coming too. See, Willis went, to, Willis went to Toronto and and with the Kith Canada, they had a stupid fire Toronto shirt. Now I gotta chill at the Maple Leaf. You be having a back, don't? I mean, I I ain't mad at Canadians. Huh? Uh, yeah, see, look at you. I hate them. Huh? They got Canadian bacon and they got maple. I get syrup. along with one Canadian. Nah, two. And really, Vancouver's not even Canada. That's part of California to me. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Who's the second one? Oh, there is two. There's a uh, what's his name? Is it Daniel Hernandez on Twitter? Is that the one? He ain't Canadian. Yeah, he is. There's one of them cats like he's he got a Hispanic name on Twitter. We always talk, but he's from Canada because he gets mad when I talk crazy about Canada. Well, so there's Sock two, is from Canada. So two, oh, SGA. I have three Canadians I like. I don't and, know, but SGA, SGA he's an honorary weird, American. Uh, uh, I don't know. I blessed him, though. Like, uh, I knighted him like you do in England. Uh, he's a know, knighted man. American. Them TikTok videos. You're not allowed to live though. in Oklahoma City if you're not a, a, a citizen. <laughs> That's funny. You can't live in, in the heartland of America unless you're a citizen. You got to live on the Honestly, coast. Honestly, that may be true. <laughs> You can't be in our you can't be in our farmlands. You can't be in our Midwestland unless you're a United States citizen. Uh, Ding Young Zhang Samba. That's up, yo, Ali. I don't know who that is. I ain't mad at the Samba. It's been a lot of names that like teetering. The, uh, some, it's close. Uh, what do we? We already had Feng Chen Wang. Yep. And we had there was another one Ding too. Ding Young Zhang. Yeah, but there was another one. I thought. Yeah, uh, ACG Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I thought it was another one I nah, read off. Not today. Uh, oh, designed by Japan, maybe? <laughs> I don't it know. Might have been another one. Uh, Thunder Lows. Tomato Four- Thunders. <laughs> foreshadowing. I mean, uh, Shadow Lows. Shadow Lows, foreshadowing. Uh, you bad- got Shadow Lows, right? Huh? You got Shadow Lows, right? Oh, okay, release, yeah. yeah. See, these are small swoosh ones. I like big swoosh ones. Uh, I don't get I mean, it doesn't look right, but but it's that's not the same that's not the same shape as the uh This looks like a golf shoe. What's the last one we got? Oh, Black Toes? It's not the same shape. Black Toes is a completely different shape. Uh Some Bad with them. Bad Bunny Campus. They look all right. I mean, I love that shoe. Andy I don't wear them for free. They're a little thick, but 
don't know. These rattlesnakes suck. I bet you they look okay on Devin Booker. Which but they ones? Suck. Oh, Devin Booker rattlesnakes. They suck. That's way too much white. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it should have just been all rattlesnake. They suck. Uh, he sucks right well, now until, I mean, until next season. Same. Uh, minted New York uh, Sockety Pro Grid Triumph 4. These joints is kind of fire. Cream corn. I don't know why. <laughs> why? <laughs> Stop using the word cream in your shoe titles, please, people. <laughs> You sale or, or does Nike own sale? I don't know. <laughs> Man, you something else. Cream green. Like, that Ew. just sounds crazy. Uh, women's dunk low daybreak bi coastal. See, that, see if, you, if you're from Canada, you got to be bi coastal. You can't live in the middle yeah, unless you're bi coastal. Bi coastal means you like boys and girls. No, that's definitely not what that no. means. That means you like boys and girls on the East Coast. And <laughs> Who uh, is this? Shade and Sharp. Who's that? He plays for Portland. But is, Fam, well, what huh? is that? Oh, is a GT2 jump. Shaden Sharp? Why does it say Canadian Roots? He's Canadian too? Fam. Maybe I didn't know he was Canadian. Wait I mean, a minute. He went to Kentucky. I guess all the players that go to Kentucky are Canadian. I don't know him, but why does he got a signature sneaker? Is he good? You know who he is. He's the one that went to Kentucky but never played and then got drafted oh. by Portland. He was good at the end of his rookie year in Portland, but then he was whacked this year, which mm-hmm. don't make no mm-hmm. sense. I know who you're talking about. Prospect. Yeah. That's what he is. A prospect forever. Yeah, he's going to be in his third year next year. Stewie 3 Dawn. Fire. Let me know if you need him. Well, I have the same plug you do, so. <laughs> mm, uh, Flex on me. Jewel Lloyd Air Zoom GT Cut 3. Oh. She's in the WNBA, right? Uh, Yep. Don't pretend like you. Oh, so you want me to read these? Read what? The 14th. Yeah, keep going. Air Terra Humara Alchemy Pink. Stupid fire. 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 All right. These should have been undefeated as well. <laughs> All right. These are stupid fire. I can't pay these prices that go got on here right now, which means they got one of each pair in stock. <laughs> but this pink one, it may be a must cop. I fan, my Humara, my Terra Humara collection is going like this. Yes, yeah, so you are the number one in, in the world. I'm gonna be the number one hiker in the in the in A Z. You probably just wear them to the golf course since that's what you do. I gotta get back to the golf. Like golf. I was shoes. this close to putting my <laughs> golf clubs on the side of the street, like put free sign on them. But I was like, man, come on, man, like just wash You're them out joints. Of control. You what am I gonna do with them? I ain't golfed in like what? I ain't golfed since COVID. You yeah. can sell them. <laughs> ain't nobody buying them. My club might be the wackest clothes of all time. You know? Fam, anytime I went golfing with somebody, I could tell they judging my clubs. So I'm like, what is this? Like the first, like us looking at sneakers. Cat, dude, like I seen one time, I was actually on the drive swinging. I looked back, cat was in my bag like this, lifting the stick. I'm like, I, I act like I didn't see him, but I was stupid and no way. I'm like, don't look at my my uh, putter. Oh, don't look at my putter. He looked at it like, what? Let me get this at Dick Sporting Goods. Like, what is it? As a matter of fact, I did. I got this at Sports Authority. You jerk. <laughs> yes, the company that no longer exists. Exactly. That's why I got it. Air Jordan 38 Crimson Tint and Air Jordan 38. Oh, I guess that's just GS version. Why does the shape look different? No, I think that. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Why well, one look like a high and one look like a low? That's weird. One is a low and one is a high. Oh, okay. That is a low. Man, that's whack. Oh, so there's not. Actually, a the low is okay. I ain't mad at it. Uh, 89 Pegasus PGA. Ch- why is there a PGA Championship Pegasus? Oh, gosh, it's a golf shoe. Uh, Fam, is anybody running around screaming for a golf version of every sneaker? What's oh, this up? is a this is a golf yeah. version of the shoe. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid. It looks like about to say Bagger fire. Vance's locker. Though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if you zoom in on it though, it's kind of nice though. Yeah, wood grain. They got so wood grain tipping on four foes. <laughs> Wrapped in four foes. That don't got wood grain on tipping. <laughs> is true. that it? Stupid. No, there's more. You said 14. That's your fault. Oh, no, that is the last one. That is one. the last one. Dang, you didn't let me say jound. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're going to have to say uh jound on the next show. Man. Man, these Travis Scott's. Su- uh, 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 Which one? The ones that come out next week. The yellow ones? They look fire in kid size, but the men's size looks like a banana uh, clown shoe. Yeah, maybe I'll try for Cortez or something or Cruzy, because these right here in us... And our size, these suck. <laughs> Dang, Space Jam lows. Oh, shite. I forgot to put Space Jams on my list. Oops. Honorable That's mention. That's a cult classic? I mean, because of the movie. 
It's the only one that was related to the movie. Wait, did you do all movie shoes on your list? No, it, but that's a reason why somebody would call it a cult shoe. Is because, like, would Space Jams have been liked if they weren't uh, related to the movie? Maybe. I mean, no one goes hard for like <laughs> gammas. No one cares about gammas. I don't like know. That. I like gammas, but no one. They're no, not no, out no. there in the. I, there's a cult People following for gammas now, though. They, nah, they're begging for a retro. Not cult. They 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 screaming People for it. People want them, but not cult. You're That's trying different. to ruin my list. Look. No, I'm not. Oh, you have space jams on it? Nope. Oh, well, I guess it don't matter then. Look, somebody actually, about four or five people sent me this. I mean, it's the age old question. I don't know. What, the next thing? You From, might as well just do the list in the middle of the show for once, just to switch it up. Why? Because then I, <laughs> I, I found, I'll have no reason have to talk no about these other why. things. Uh, <laughs> if we did the list right now, I'd be like, you know what? I'm good with this. So you good? And we leave. <laughs> Look, Z Sneakerheads made a meme or a post and said, are sneakers no longer exciting? Something like that. Or well, well, actually, I mean, it wasn't that the case on. two years ago. Well, let me see what he say. Say what? Let me see exactly what he said. Because Kat sent this to me, and I was like, man, and I retweeted it, and I said, man, you're right. I said, facts, but shut the F up. <laughs> it says, sneakers aren't as exciting as they used to be. George, you want to comment on that? Yeah, we said that two years ago. We said that about five <laughs> years ago. You know what's funny? It's, it, it's from a cat who posts all these mock sneaker pictures. Like, when we don't know the colorways, he posts, like, Mock versions of uh, yeah, it. Yeah, like, I know what you're talking about. Fam, shut up. Man. Like, who cares? He's man? a nerd, but he gets he gets the uh, info out early. Fam, you should see to the street. You should see the first person, the first comment. You know who f the very first comment was from Fat Joe on his post. <laughs> Here comes Fat Joe. If you truly love sneakers, you will always love them. The minute you say a sneaker is whack because it doesn't resell, is when you lost the love. Fat Joe, shut up. Man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, don't you got something else to do to me commenting on somebody IG post? Fam, get this out of here. Here comes cats right behind him. 1,000% true. Facts, big homie. Well said, bro. Fam. <laughs> calling Fat Joe bro and stuff is crazy. Facts. This right here. Pure facts. Oh, my God. Somebody, block yourself. Uh, <laughs> you should go into your settings and block yourself off social media. Cats on here like, false. Resellers just can't get money. Man, if y'all don't stop, sneakers are not exciting. Cats on here like, sneakers are dead. Look, sneakers aren't dead. They're just not exciting anymore. I'm sorry. Once you were able to get everything you want, it became unexciting. Uh, period. How on earth could you get excited for something that you just could go down the street or just go on a phone and just cop now at any time? Even if it's <laughs> something you missed out on, you, you got a little extra 35 bucks here and there, maybe a max 50 bucks here, you ain't missing out ever again. Damn, check your phone. <laughs> it's exciting. Oh that might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire see. life. I've seen this cat. This cat is weird. You see, yeah, but did you see the look at yes, the retweet? He's a weird. Oh, I haven't seen no retweet. He's a weird cat. No, man. you got to look at what they're replying to. Fam, what is this? Uh, <laughs> Said, ain't that him? <laughs> Look at the picture. That's him for certain. Uh, <laughs> and he got that, that sausage. Weirdo. Uh. <laughs> Cats, boy. Cats be thinking they secrets, boy. Be secrets. They be coming out. Uh. But anyways, George, sneakers are signing for you? Uh, I don't know. I, I, no, I, I don't know absolutely the answer. not. <laughs> absolutely not. Sneakers have become a burden in my life. Uh. The most exciting. Okay, let me tell you what the most exciting things are. Number one, uh, PSA order day. When the PSA order returns. This no. is what's exciting to you. Yes. It was a top five list. <laughs> top five exciting things to George. Go. PSA, well, number five. PSA uh, return day. Hold when on. He, is that number five? No, that's not. Oh, I'm doing a reverse. I'm doing it. I'm starting at number one. Fine. Go to number one. PSA return day. When you get them fire grades on those cards. Number two. The notification you get when your order is done at PSA, because that's a separate feeling. You get you get that feeling, excited, then you nervous to look at the grades, then you look at the grades, happy. Number three, when you open a pack and get a fire pull from the pack. That's number three. Number four, when your order makes it safely to PSA, because you ain't <laughs> your order gets lost, all them cards that's gone. That's your top five exciting things in your <laughs> life. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, hey, this is a hobby show, all right? We're doing we, we, sneaker hobbies is cooked, all right? I couldn't even. The only thing that's exciting to me is when my son goes out there and scores a goal in soccer. That's the only thing that's exciting to me. Yeah, I mean, that's just life, though. That ain't. That's not like a hobby thing. You're talking about like versus sneakers. Fam. Fam, ain't nothing exciting about sneakers whatsoever. And it's okay to say that and still be a sneakerhead and still cop. It ain't got nothing to do with reselling and it got nothing to do with sneakers is dead. First of all, I'm just not trying to hear that from a cat that posts 24-7 about it with mock-ups, like concept colors. You are part of the reason why sneakers aren't exciting anymore. I said this on the, I think I may have said this on the last episode. I remember when a sneaker came out, we saw a colorway. We saw like the Concord. I didn't know the other colorways until like it was about to drop. I know every single colorway of every single thing now. Like they showed the Ant Lows, they showed every single colorway to the Ant Lows. The only ex- okay, let me take. They showed back. every single colorway to the Jordan Thirty Nine. It's not even out yet. I know every single colorway already. The only exciting thing in sneakers is maybe not some collabs. When you, the only exciting thing is when you see the colorway listed like. With the words, and you don't know what it looks like, and you thinking, like, in your head, oh, my God, that might be so fire if they make it this way. That's the only thing. You know? That's it. <laughs> what? That's it. Fam. If it's a shoe you really want, and you always wanted it to be color blocked a certain way, and you see that colorway, and you like, ooh, military, f- not military, uh, uh <laughs> what's uh, Undefeated 4 is coming out. But it ain't it ain't Undefeated 4, is it? That's, that, that's exciting. That's it. I will say when I do cop something, I'm excited to get it in the mail. But like, I've never been excited to get like, I, like I'm like, oh man, I'm glad it came. But if anybody knows this, George, I sneakers sit in the delivery box in in the entryway of my house for months. Sometimes in my trunk for months. I've taken sneakers out that I haven't opened that got delivered and let them sit in the garage for months. The only reason why I'll go out there and open the sneakers from the garage is because I think the heat may have messed them up. That's the only reason why. Like, I don't get, it's not the same. And it's okay for that. It doesn't mean that sneakers are dead. It doesn't mean that sneakers are on fire. It don't mean that anybody hating or or being an old man. It's not exciting. The excitement was the hype. Everybody wants to say, oh, hype, bro. The The excitement was the hype. Will I be able to get it? It sucked if you didn't, but will I be able to get it? Will I be able to, yo, the homie said he got it, you know? You know what? I'm sorry. You know what's exciting? Is when Soul Links, you turn the notification on for Soul Links, and you catch something like that. Like something that you've been wanting and is on sale, or like one of them shock drops that you, that's the only time I get excited. I still got Soul Links on. If I like, yo, sitting there chilling, it's like, yo, uh, all Vans, $47 on, on Essence, whatever it's called. I'm in there. I'm about to call it sensei. Then I'm in there. Yeah. That's what makes me excited right now. But fam, you you can't get excited about something that you can get. Travis Scott's and all that. I don't know. I guess like we'll never get one. Like last no, Travis Scott, it's I not got. Exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not excited. It might have been exciting when the first one, the Travis Scott high, second, third, dropped on the thing. Fourth. I don't know. I mean, when that first notification went off, like Travis Scott highs on the apps, near uh, shock drop. That's Travis it. Travis Scott's haven't been quote-unquote exciting since Dior's. Mm. That was it. And we actually tried for Dior's and, and applied in those raffles and things like that. and been exciting since. But it's okay. People just need to understand, exciting doesn't mean they don't suck. And that's the thing, the too, that I talked about already was, look, pay attention to the words that we're saying on this podcast, okay? We're talking about us. It's not exciting. They're still fire. We're still copping. It's okay. It's just not exciting right now. Honestly, we're just in addiction mode, bad habit, and we can't break it. And honestly, I'm doing everything in my power to break it. I'm so glad I didn't buy both those New Balances. Huh? Them New Balances was two forty. <laughs> if I would have bought both, you know how much money that would have been? Fam, come on, man. Like, uh, it would have been ridiculous. That would have been my, a whole box budget. Huh? Like, if I bought them two, huh? whole box budget would have been ruined. Talking about the green and purple? Yes. Them joints are stupid fire. Them Teddy Santas, they would have been my very first pairs of Teddy Santas too. And I try to tell myself that too. 
I try to say, oh, girl, you ain't got no Teddy Stance that's still in the closet. You see that? That's that's that that's that bad addiction. You know? Oh, you ain't never had crack in in the grease. You know? That's what people tell themselves. Uh, oh, you ain't never smoked crack on a yacht. Uh, that's what <laughs> yes. I, I guess that's what people tell themselves. Uh, people, yes. th- that's what real addicts tell themselves. I told myself, I said, I mean, I am. It ain't like I got any Teddy Santas. <laughs> I almost did that. I was like, I got Kith. I got Joe Fresh Goods. I got this. I got that. I was like, but I ain't got no Teddy Santas. I almost did it. Thank God I didn't. Because uh, that would have been about $500 on two new balances I would have never wore. Uh, period. Uh, period. Uh, what else we got on here? Cold Classics. So Skate sent me this. Skate was highly bothered by this. Because, now you probably looked at it. It don't have all the Cold Classics on there that they're going to retro, that already retro. It was a, a thing of it. And he was saying that some of these aren't Cold Classics, which I agree with. Now, I'm going to read these off to you. I didn't see the list. So All right. Well, I'm going to read them off to you. Fresh you can look them up. You can look them up, and you tell me if you think there's a cult classic. You ready? Nike Dunk Veneers. Now, they already came out like a couple weeks ago. The veneer, the... the cult? I know, I know what you're talking oh, about. okay. Cult classic? No. Uh, nice shoe? Yes. Dunk Ultraman Low. Uh, let me see what that looks like. Now, was the Ultraman originally a high, or was it always a low? Uh, look. Let's see. Now they it's like reverse UNLV. They got it. That's the one that just came out. Yeah. Nah, those are definitely not a cold class. Stupid though. fire though. Dunk Michigan State low. This is the original one, and the other one that just came out is the opposite, right? That's what you're saying. No, it's that one right there. That's what the one that just came out is that is that right there. So it's so. Oh, so the original was the opposite. Okay, yes. Yeah. So they okay. I see what they're saying. This is the original one. Let me this see. is from StockX. Because I, I was wondering if it was a high. This sucks. Oh, yeah, that one sucks. That's the original one. Uh, that's nasty. And not in a good way. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to like Chinese food. Like, it look weird. Huh? <laughs> it remind me of that Chinese restaurant y'all swear by. Chili, chili China. Ugh. Chinese Man, chili. You eat there once. Huh? Fam. Once is enough. Huh? No, it ain't. Because you still hate, what you call it, their food is good. Hold it, on. Just, it just make you You said everywhere. you only go there for the fried chicken, though. Yeah, that's what I get. Come on, no, man. I don't. I, I, that's not the only reason I go there, but that's the dish I order. No, nah, I gotta go there for like the real Chinese food. Like I'm talking about that that they eat Far East, authentic. Okay, well, I'm not, not going in there the United looking United States for, of America. So. I'm not going there looking for no fried chicken and and things like that. They got fried chicken in China too. You hope you know that. That's fine, but that's I mean, not Chinese not like, food though. It's not like Louisiana fried no, no, chicken. No, hold on. I didn't say. <laughs> but they I didn't say they can't make fried chicken. <laughs> okay, yes, you know what I'm talking about. I, I ain't mean, talking about like an eight piece. Korean I ain't going fried to, chicken I ain't going is to like Chinese one of the main dishes of Korean food. That's fine. But it's not, no, I'm not going there for an piece and a, a thigh and a <laughs> wing. You get an eight piece. You, you know a, what I mean. You're getting no. a sliced up thigh you know, and, no, 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 and no. dropped in a fryer. I need, like, you know, something I can't pronounce. Huh? I need, like, general yeah. general soul and all that. <laughs> I, need, I need Kung Pao and all that. You're out of control. I don't though. need no fried chicken. Oh, let me read these off. Uh, Dunk Michigan State Low. Is that a cult classic? No. Air for Ma- what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a nice shoe. Why is a Michigan State lower classic? Um, Air Max 90 reverse duck camo. Not the Atmos one, the reverse ones. Remember we were trying to get them, and they came out with like three colorways. Air man, Max 90 man. reverse duck camo. That's what Nike got us called classics. Is that a cult classic? You talking about the not the one that's infrared with camo. Yeah, that one. one. Yeah. I mean, it's fire. It's that's what it's I'm ultimate about. flames, cult classic. Ultimate for, flames for what reason? I mean, it's in the Hall of Flames, isn't it? I don't know. We may have done something irresponsible like that. Nah, that ain't the infrared camo one. That's not irresponsible not, to be in Hall of Flames. Hold on, not the Atmos one. Now there's an OG Atmos Air Max ninety camo. I'm talking about the reverse duck camo. There's a difference. Now we may have been really stupid. I, we look, we like this shoe. All right. You know, this is the original one, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. You might be looking at the actual Atmos one, not the Atmos one, the reverse camo. They're one. both Atmos. No, we just yeah. called it that. I don't think that was yes, actually it was. Atmos. Atmos Duck Hunter Camo. Let me see. That's the OG. Now, oh, now look, reverse. It's reverse camo. I don't think there's a Yes, reverse. Air Max 90 reverse duck camo. Come on, you got it. Click them buttons. 
Air Max 90. Oh, where the tongue is infrared? Yeah. I mean, the toe box? Yeah. I've never even seen these before. Yeah, you have. Those suck. You said, yeah, I suck at straw, but you've They're, seen them before. No, they suck. That's, fam, what shoe is that? That's not even, yeah, no, try? I don't think that's real. <laughs> <laughs> they do got kids sizes, though. I might have to get those from Mac. Look at you. You gonna you lace your you gonna, you gonna your lace your nephew up in some whack? I mean, I'm not wearing it, but Man, that joint is, is okay. But I don't this, think it's a cold classic. I wouldn't call this a cold classic either. But it's one of the, the, the but, it's, but it's well, Hall of Flames. Yeah, yeah, it's not a cult classic, but it's definitely Hall of Flames. Yes. Hmm. Uh, Air Max 180 Ultramarine. Uh, cult classic. I'm gonna say the same thing. Hall of Flames, not cult classic. Air Max 180 Concord. Air Max 180. I got Concord. both of those, and both is. of them cracked. And I don't even know how they got cracked. Last time I wore them, a, a stupid Costco shopping cart ran over it, and I never wore them again. <laughs> Left the Whoa, biggest wait. black streak of all time. Air Max 180, what? Ultra, Ultramarine and then the Concord. No, I know what the Ultramarine is. Right Concord. Is. Fam, I remember when we was going back and forth with Rejuvenator. Oh, oh, gold and purple? Yeah. Uh... I don't even think have they ever retroed that? It looks like it's an orange. Yeah, I got them, so I had to retro it. It had the retro. I know, I know, I ain't got the OGs. Ultramarine, I remember. I had that when I was a kid. We um, got, don't you got that now? I'm sure it's been. I'm sure it's gone. Fam, from my I got Ultramarine. Yeah, I, I got Concord, and I got another one that like a mango. But I thought this uh, one was uh, made purple I, and pink. So this is the one we're talking about. But I thought this was made originally for like the Olympics or something because it's gold, like something like Olympic medal I can't or something. Remember. That may not be the one that they're considering a cult classic. This says Concord. Oh, okay, I, then I that's it then. Was, I thought this was made for the Olympics or something. I don't know. But a cult classic? No, I wouldn't call it a cult classic. They're, both of those shoes should be Hall of Flame. Of well, course. Ultramarine is Hall of Flames to me, period. But I wouldn't call it a cult classic. None of these fall under that category. I don't know what cult classic means. Yeah, you do. When you listen to my list, you'll understand. No, when you hear my list, you'll understand. You just said you don't know what it means, but well, you I want took me a to stab at your it. list. <laughs> I took a stab at it. All right. Now, I'm about to ask you this one. Now, I don't think it's a cult classic. I think it's a top 10 in its model greatest of all time. All right. And I think if you made a top 10 list of Air Force Ones, this would be in your top 10, maybe top five, top three. Air Max, I mean, sorry, Air Force One Linen. I wouldn't call it a cult classic. Either. Well, I mean, I, I guess it's, it's a top it's, 10 Air it's Force more One. Of all a cult, time. It's more of a cult classic than all those other things you named. Cult classic to me is triple black Air Force Ones. Them joints are literally, they turn it into a, a ski good mask. All right. <laughs> a ski mask. Of shoes. That's a good example of a cult <laughs> I mean, classic. These right here to me are legendary. These are stupid fire. I could see I could see somebody agreeing with that one more so than the other shoes on the list, but why you gotta be able to to me, you gotta be able to give a reason why. Like I'll explain why Yeah, I'll explain all mine. on the thing, but there's only one Jordan one high that's on my list. And yeah, yes, I only got one of mine. Technically, you could put unions on there or whatever, I guess. No, but no, no, no. Well, you, I think you could because they it, they did a, 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 mash, <gasps> a mashup or a mismatch or whatever you want to call it. But does that make it a cult I classic? Think, well, I think for that reason, you can make an argument. I didn't put it on my list, but there's only one Jordan 1 that's on there, and it's on there for a reason. I can't have a Jordan 1 on my list that I got in top 10 Jordan 1s all time. Wait, say it again? Anything that's that I would consider a top ten Jordan one all time, maybe even top twenty all time, I can't have on my list. Yeah, you can. Nah. I'm gonna explain why. I don't know. There's about two that. versions of it on my list. I mean, list, I, you actually. know what? You're right. Maybe because my li I don't know. There's man. two versions of a shoe that you're talking about on my list for a specific reason. All right. What about Air Force One Ivory Snake? Hold on. Now you could swap out the Jordan one that I'm gonna put on that's on the list for a different shoe. Of the same collection, that might be a hint, foreshadowing. You might understand what I'm saying. But, and I'll be fine with that, but I just put the Jordan 1 because it's the most popular one. Anyways, what was the next one? Air Force 1 Ivory Snake. That's just uh, the all-white one with the uh, snake swoosh. Uh, nah. I probably would consider that one more of a cult classic than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't have it in my top 10 nothing, but I think it's a fire Air now, Force 1. Now, this ain't a top 10 cult classic, but if you went to, like, 25, Kill Bill Asics, that could be a cult classic. If you went to like 25 or 50 shoes, it wouldn't be in the top 10 for me. A, a Kill Bill Asics? A Kill Bill Yellow Asics, not a top 10 cult 
Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about the actual one she wore in Kill Bill or the ones that we have? Well, yeah, the one they made that was honoring the movie. No, 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 no. That's top 10 ASIC all time. Yeah, but that you could be top 10 ASIC, but not be cult, cult, top 10 cult classic. I'm saying it's a cult classic shoe, but it's not a top 10 cult classic. It would be honorable mentions. Fam, let me look up cult classic. Uh, no, cult... you don't need to. <laughs> you already said you didn't know what it meant. I mean, I really don't, but I still want to look this up just to double check. You have check, to ask, man. to me, you got to have, like, not necessarily a storyline, but there's got to be some reason that people like that shoe that's more than just the colorway is cool. It says, you know what I mean? Like, you could tie it to something. It says, what defines a cult classic? A cult film or cult movie, also commonly referred to as a cult classic, is a film that has acquired a cult following. Cult yeah. films are known for their dedicated, passionate fan base, which forms elaborate subculture members in which engage in repeated viewings, dialogue quoting, yeah. dialogue quoting, but that's movies, and audience participation. It's yes. obviously the reason would be similar, but that's just the movie definition. So it says the term cult f classic, or more commonly known as cult films, is used to describe a movie that has generated a significant and highly dedicated fan base over time. So then a Star Wars would be a cult classic then, right? Like the movie. I feel like mean? it's too it's above cult classic. No, I think I think I think someone who's a super big Star Wars fan would have a different answer for every movie. Like um uh what's the which one was the one with the Tauntauns? Like where they was in the forest. Is that Empire yeah, Strikes Back? Empire Strikes Back. That is a cult classic because I don't think people ever looked at that like it was like a really good movie at first. And then everyone was like, oh, you know what? That might be the best one of all three. What about uh, Hope? Was it Hope? What was the Star Wars? What would that be? Technically the, um, oh, the episode six? Something like that. And You're talking about A New Hope, but I don't know which one A New Hope was. was I don't know it? if that was technically the sixth movie or fourth movie or whatever. Maybe. I can't remember. I don't know. I, I get But on. like the ones where they're in the, they, you know, they got that, the big... A yeah. mechanized uh, thing that looks like a brontosaurus or whatever, and they fighting the Ewoks and stuff in the oh forest. That's know. Empire Strikes Back, right? Yes, yes. So that to me, I think Star Wars. Now every Star Wars that's fan my is different, one, though. but that's what I'm saying. Oh. But it was probably wasn't your favorite one at the beginning. You gave over time, my right? Favorite. No, I didn't care for Return of the Jedi like that. See, I think that's the. I think that's a perfect definition. Is that one is different than the other ones because. Originally, it was looked at like, oh, this is not as good as the other ones. And then people realized, no, wait, this one is might be the best one. Of the first three, I'm not comparing it to all the other stuff because I haven't even, like, I haven't watched Mandalorian yet. I haven't watched all those other ones they came out with. You ever watched any seen... Mandalorian? A what? You ever watched any Mandalorian? Nah. It was pretty Obviously, I saw all three of the originals, and then I saw the next, they made, because it was the total of six movies, right? With Samuel the Jackson next three? and Yeah, I think I watched all those. I watched those. And then I watched the one with John Boyega and yes, Fire Oscar Isaac, right? Uh, was uh, Isn't whatever it? his name is, not Darth Vader, but he was. Well, yeah, whatever. Adam Driver. Adam Driver, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Driver. and Harrison Ford came back, so I seen that one. Fire, but I haven't seen any of the show ones, and I didn't watch the one with Charles Felicity. Gambino. I didn't watch the one with Gambino, man. Who was one is that one? He oh, was. he's uh not Obi Wan Kenobi. He's uh the one that Billy uh, D. Yeah. Williams played, uh, uh Lando. Yeah, Lando Han Calrissian. Solo? Huh? What was it called? Han Solo is... Yeah, I know that, but what was the movie Harrison called? Ford. Oh, I don't remember. What the movie was Solo? I don't know. Whatever. I don't remember. But the one with, like, Felicity... Not Felicity Huffman, but whatever that... Felicity Girl or whatever. That's yeah. the standalone one. And then the one with him, Lando. I haven't watched Rogue it. Rogue One. Those. Rogue One was good. Yeah, Rogue One. I haven't seen right. that. I probably need to watch them all, but... Nah, it's too late now. Well, I don't know about that. I'll tell you you the watched ending. The Wire about a good 37 years after it came out. And it was quite the disappointment. No. I go. <laughs> I'll still watch it today and still be no. the same. Well, level you know what? Excitement entertainment. I've been low key feeling like I want to watch it again just because TV is whack now. I'm sorry. You know what else you need to go back and watch? TV too? sucks now. No, no, no. What you call it is good. The one we talked about at lunch, uh, uh, Fallout, is good. Now, fam, now, stop. Now, listen. The, 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 it's okay. Some, no, I mean, what I'm saying, good. I mean, it can keep your attention span for the f series. I mean, girl is a cutie pie, but other than that, I ain't got time. I mean, for she's that. not even really in all that many scenes when you really break it down. Like, she's in like maybe half the show or less. There's, fam, that show got so many storylines, it's hard to keep up. I'm a fan of Walter Goggins or whatever his name is. I'm a country man? Yeah, country man. I'm a fan of his, so anything he's, he's always in, a I bad like. guy, huh? 
Yeah, but he's not a bad guy. He always that past, guy that like though. runs the casino in the back. Like how oh, I do say, no, he's no, always no, one of those no, guys. Not. Yes, he no, is. He don't stop. He's always one of those. He's a henchman, like no, in the back. He's not a henchman. Right. He's a henchman in certain things. He's a henchman in uh, you saying that because of Django and the other one, the other Tarantino movie. But I don't even think he was a henchman in that one. Nah, he's uh, oh. Seven Sons of Seven Bastards. What's the other one? <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson and. Uh, yeah, but he's he's that he's still a bad guy all the time. Not Michael Douglas, Kurt uh, Kurt Russell. Um, he's always a bad guy. Still, he helped. Didn't he help Samuel L. Jackson out in that one? I don't remember. At the end of seven, not seven deadly sins. That What's the name of that movie? So long. Eight, eight usual suspects. Something like that. They was in a log cabin. <laughs> the entire Man's movie. Eight. <laughs> eight uh, eight. That's what it eight is. Eight. That's right. You just saying that because he that Walter Goggins was like the main racist character in Django, and I know you like Django the most out of all Tarantino movies. No, yeah, you not know. even close. Which one? Uh, favorite Tarantino movie? Not Pulp Fiction. Django. Just say it. Not Django. Yes, it is. No, there's only one good. other one you could pick. Uh, if it's not Pulp Fiction, and Glorious Bastards is the best one to me. The second best one is Django. Uh, I mean, okay, Kill Bill one and two. If you want to put that, fine. Bam. What are you talking about? They're my favorite two favorite movies of all time. Whatever, whatever. Kill Bill one and two is a top tier movie whatever. writing and, and, uh, and movie. Don't act like Django and uh, and Glorious Bastards ain't just as good as that one. First of all, and Glorious Bastards has fire scenes as a totality, 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 <laughs> whatever of a movie. That was is I. That was uh, Jesus striking you down as you was trying to say that was word. I. That's what that uh, was. So he gave as you a Totality of a movie? I don't know about Girl, that. Sky Pilot but you love also Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and that sucked. I love Reservoir Dogs. No, no, no. Fire. You want to Dawn. Fire. No, you want to talk about scenes from a movie that were really good. That movie had two of the greatest movie scenes of all time. But oh the, my God! I'm the, not going to let you talk about that Bruce Lee fight. I'm not going to talk about it. I wasn't going Fine. to. You brought it up, but you said I love that movie. I don't necessarily love that movie. There's two scenes in there that are flawless, and the one where he goes to Spawn Ranch is flawless too. So there's really debatable three scenes that are flawless. Okay, fine. The movie Hold is on. the movie is solid. It's not great. Hold on. What's the other two the other two scenes? I said I wasn't going to bring it up. No, no, say it. Going to the, the ranch. Fine. He's but it was on anticlimactic. The roof. He's on the roof dreaming that he's no, fought thank Bruce you. Willis. No. I mean Bruce Lee. No, that's one. No, the other one is fight scene at the end in the where house. he has the yeah dog food and throws the dog food. That yeah. one's fire yeah, in the house. Fire scene. and then shooting that that out the swimming that's pool. Part of that scene too. Oh, that's fine. That, that counts. Post okay, fine. But flawless. But that going to the ranch flawless, scene. Flawless victory. Fam, edge of my seat, and then nothing happened. I was like, man, come on, fam. Now I, I guess mean, that was supposed to be. What you mean, edge of your seat? Oh, when he opened the door and it was fam. Just man I thought sleeping? about to go down. I was like, what this is it? But why did you don't need it to be? It's okay that the old man is just in there sleeping. That's that was fine. a very tense scene. It was very tense, yes, and then that was it. Filmmaking. That's fine. Filmmaking 101. That's huh? fine. He learned in his college. <laughs> Man, I was disappointed. He then. learned it from Roman Polanski that's himself. That's fine. Quentin Tarantino movies, cult classics. Yes. that's but, Okay. What's your point? Not all of them. Pulp Fiction is. Some of the other ones, like, at the time, people said Django is a spectacular movie. At the time, <clears throat> people said Inglourious okay. Bastards, spectacular movie. Dust Till Dawn. Is still flashing? That's Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Okay. Dust Till Dawn. That's Robert Rodriguez, though. That's Wait, his, bus, did he, his buddy. Did he direct it? Maybe he helped out. I mean, out. I'm sure Tarantino was in the movie okay, and he helped okay. out, but no, way, he's not a Tarantino movie. Uh, Dust Till Dawn. Oh, that's a cult and classic. Kill Bill 1 and 2, both were um, uh, uh, amazing. The, at, Right, but it was agreed when they came out. They, like, yes. They're not cult classics because they were already good. Dust Till Dawn is an awful movie. Yes, but we of course love it. it is. All right. We yes. love it. That's a cult classic. It's a horrendous movie. It's it's stupid, but it's, it's a cult classic. It's not a cult classic in the it's way It's a cult classic because we would watch it as many times as we as we could. It's not a cult classic in the way that The Big Lebowski is a cult classic because The Big Lebowski is actually a good movie. It just was at the time people were like, "What?" Yeah, but I consider bad movies cult classics. I understand that. Okay. What I'm saying is so, there's a difference between a bad cult classic like Passenger 57, bad movie for us it's a cult classic. Murder at 1600, bad movie. Or actually, that's not that bad. That but bad. it's not as bad as Passion 57, acting wise, cult classic to me. Passion but 57 is insane. But <laughs> any movie on the airplanes are insane for but, me. Though. They're dumb now. Okay, whatever. I love them though. But they're. Inglorious Bastards is actually a spectacular movie with spectacular acting. Same thing with Django, same thing with uh, Kill that's Bill, fine. all those. Yes. 
Uh, Those are critically acclaimed. Two of the biggest cult classics of all time, Reservoir Dogs, you already said one, and two, Swingers. And and Pulp Fiction is honestly is not one of my I Honestly, I feel cult, Pulp Fiction is whack. I have never been a Pulp Fiction fan. I've said you got to go back before. and watch it from the very beginning. Nah, You'll change your mind. Nah, Another cult nah, classic movie that weird, people at the time, nah. only British people liked, and now people acknowledge, Snatch. <laughs> people oh, did not understand that movie, and now they look at it and they're like, oh yeah, the movie was fire. Well, I think I felt that way about Traffic. Which Traffic? The movie Traffic. Oh, it's a crash. Wait, Don Cheadle? What's the movie called? Oh, well, that's two different movies. Hold on. Which one? Traffic. Traffic, traffic has Benicio Del Toro and Don Omar Cheadle. Epps? No, there was the drugs, right? The politician. Damn, are you okay? I can't remember. Crash had Mang in it. Uh, <laughs> what? A man from Empire. Um, Not T.J. Henderson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, man. Smooth Pimp Man. Yeah, what's his name? Terrence it's hard Howard. Out here for a pimp. Terrence yeah. Howard. It had Mane in it. That movie was okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think of with him, man. Yeah, I, was, are you okay? I was watching, I was watching, I was watching dad are you jokes. Okay, huh? And he was like, what's Terrence Howard's favorite street? Main Street. <laughs> I was crying. You're a was, moron. Was Terry Tower's favorite 80s cartoon? Super Main. <laughs> You're an actual child. So what's Terry Tower's favorite lettuce? Romaine. <laughs> I think the podcast should just be you telling jokes uh, for the next half Roll an hour. Main. Uh, oh, let's do this. Listen, go home. Though. We done with this podcast. What about uh, uh, what uh, NBA playoffs? <clears throat> Look, Wolves are sweeping the Nuggets. Suns can't get one win. Uh, Celtics. I mean, come on, man. Celtics. Uh, Knicks. Knicks may get to the finals. I feel like the Knicks could give the Celtics a little bit of a run for their money. All right. They shouldn't be able to, but they may. They well, gotta pass the Pacers first. What doesn't make any sense is they're doing it without their two of their best players. Like who? Julius Randle. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like Junior Julius Randle kind of messed it up a little bit. Even though when he was in the, in the beginning of the year, it, it seemed to work out a little bit. Fam. I don't know, man. Look he may the, get in the way, man. Their team is literally Don, Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart. Like, what do you mean? And Jalen <laughs> Brunson, best part, point guard in the East. Okay. I, I, that's the obvious part that I wasn't going to say. Like, okay. you can't win without him. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, what's his name? Halliburton? I don't know about him. He's been, I told you, he's been weird since Man Man came over from Toronto. I don't know. And, and he's good. Uh, you hate Siakam, but Siakam no, no, is really good. I don't good. hate him. He's good, but they you treat him hate... like, no, I didn't. They, I hate the way that the dynamic turned into once he got traded there. I don't hate him. No, no, no. You, it, th you hated him when he was even with Orlando, I mean, uh, or Toronto. You hated him because uh, you didn't understand how whack he, how he was so whack and then he got so good. That's uh, literally that's, what you said. That's probably true. <laughs> but I didn't hate. Him, but I didn't hate him. I probably just was like, it makes no sense. But, but they he's agile. They're scared of him. They're they they treat him like LeBron, but he don't got the aura of LeBron. So well, yeah, because he's a little dusty. Like uh, he, it's not, he's only dusty, but he also is not doesn't have the aura of LeBron in in terms of like greatness. He reminds me of a unorthodox Paul George at times, but you know he's lanky. You know, but he I I mean he basically is like. Grant Hill, if Grant Hill never got injured, I guess. Oh, that's a good comparison. He is kind of like Grant Hill. That's a that's a high comparison. Or though. or Jamal Mashburn, if Jamal Mashburn never Ooh, got injured. Oh, used to love Jamal Mashburn. <laughs> uh, who was the OKC playing next? Uh, they play tomorrow. Uh, whoever uh, Dallas. Oh yeah, who went whoever in that? Was, OKC. You think OKC beat Dallas? Probably not, but I'm gonna pick OKC because that's my probably uh, adopted American brother. He's Canadian. He's adopted American. Right. You can't live in OKC and be a Canadian. No, that's Oklahoma. That's the heartland of America. I seen them out there protesting refugees too. Though. Who? Somebody in OKC. Oh. Nah, not not him. <laughs> oh, I was about to say what? And I was like, man, y'all. Like he got foreigners? enough problems. He got Josh Giddy on his team. Man, where's bro? Chet? Where's problems. Chet from? Uh, he got to be from another country. Oregon, though. I think. Hey, weird. Huh? Let me see. I want to say Oregon. He kind of touched too. I think he touched by an angel. <laughs> like he, you be look at him in press conferences, and I'm like, maybe that's just his swag. But he off. Well, you could look at his eyes. Oh, and Minnesota. That's right. Oh yeah, he definitely from up north. He close to the border too, <laughs> because there's something about him that's just weird. Uh, like I know you tall, and your body probably feels weird, and you feel out of place. <laughs> but fam, he is an odd person. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I may. You know what? I'm gonna go OKC, 
But the Mavericks may nah, give you, them problems. Nah, you so. feel good about it. About what? No, I okay. want to sit the Mavs. No, I just don't want to be wrong. No, you feel good about it. No, I honestly yeah, want to pick the Mavs in six. You feel six. good about it. I want to pick the Mavs in six. Nah. But I don't feel, I, I just don't want to be wrong. You know, forget it. I'm going Mavs in six. Okay. Mavs get there and Mavs play Minnesota. That they're gonna miss a problem. Minnesota's gonna Minnesota may not lose. If they sweep the Nuggets, they're gonna sweep the next team too. Not if it's SGA. If you don't stop. SGA is good though. But everybody else around yeah. him is everybody else around they're him is, is one, Josh Hart. Is seed. Josh Hart and DiVincenzo too. No, so, they're not. Oh, come don't on. Don't do that. Man. All right. Who Lou Dort? No. Lou Dort ain't nothing but you uh just name like the fifth best player on the team. Don't do that. Uh, Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams is good. Star. But, uh, I, uh, not, uh, not a superstar, uh, but a star. Well, hold on. What's a star? Chet, star. They got okay. stars on that team. Okay. And one of the greatest five players in the league who's probably going to win the MVP this year. No, he's not. And he shouldn't. Who? What? If you've never been to the playoffs, you shouldn't win MVP. What does not that yet. have to do with Sorry. The, is the Next year? The regular season. I don't care. Next year? They, we're gonna Stop give making different rules up. up. No. MVP should be a joker, period. That's it. I don't care. They didn't joker. have the number one seed. They didn't have the best record. Why would he be? Why would he get the MVP again? What's that got to do with anything? Well, so what, is it automatic lock for the number one, the number one team in the? No, the, what are you but if about? you have the best numbers in the league and you're also the number one seed, it's pretty straightforward. That I you don't think MVP. his numbers are better than Joker's. So. In e- terms of what efficiency? What? Yes, they, yes, they are. I don't know about that. That may be unless impossible. he went super downhill the last like couple weeks of the season. He was. I don't know about that. No. I mean, look it up. Go ahead. I mean, that's your realm. You probably got an app. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the app. I got a lot of apps, but I don't got that. Hit the microphone and say efficiency rating between SGA and Joker. Efficiency rating between SGA and Joker. Ask Siri. Are you talking about? Let's ask Siri. Hey Siri. Uh huh. What's the efficiency rating between uh, SGA and Joker? That question ain't going to make sense. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you just said links. <laughs> Don't worry. This well, I'm going to look it up for you. This joint says, Nikolo Jokic is already one of the best NBA playoff performers ever. Don't worry. I'm going to look it up for you. Oh, I don't want career. I want this season only. Oops. You slacking. Oogie doogie. You used to be able to have that like this. Fan, why won't it let me change this? Guess that's it. Top 10, you ready to go? Why won't it? Okay, this is broken. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. Fam, it's over. Nope. Look, I got Mavs in I got six. It. I got Mavs in six. I got Wolves in four. And then I got... Wolves over Mavs in in five. You got Wolves in four. I got Wolves in four over the Nuggets. Nuggets don't win a single game. And then Mavericks against Wolves uh, in the Western Conference Finals. I got Wolves in five. Then in the East, I got the Knicks in seven against the Pacers. Then I got the Celtics in who the Celtics playing Cavaliers. I got Celtics in five against the Cavaliers. And then Celtics Knicks. I got the Knicks in seven against the Celtics. And then I got. Oh, yeah, you tripping. And then, I, like I said, I got the Wolves in whatever against the Mavs. And then in the NBA Finals, I got the. I got the Knicks. I'm sorry, I got the Wolves. I got the Wolves in five over the Knicks. Uh, Jokic was better in the three main categories. Yep. Uh, box plus minus, VORP, and PER. Yep. Case closed. <laughs> Place your votes. So I got the well, Minnesota. My vote was already placed. So. I got the Minnesota Timberwolves winning now. the NBA championship in five games against the New York Knickerbockers. Hold on. Oh, I was, I was about to deliver some news. No, I checked the score and I was about to say. Who's playing right now? Well, this baseball related. So, oh. but they already got four runs, and it's only the second inning. So I thought you know who hit another home run. Nah. But in this instance, Max back Muncy, to back. Max Muncy hit a grand. <clears throat> he has four home runs in his last three games. Otani, this game, Max Muncy hit a grand slam. I figure you want to know that. <sighs> Can we do a top ten list and go home? Maybe because I want to go home. Oh, uh, you said who again? Oh, OKC is up by nine with two minutes left in the Wait. in the first half. Oh, okay. Celtics beat Cleveland by precisely 7,000 points. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first game? Yeah. Dang, I'm trying to see the Mavs OKC. It's too late now. Let's do a top 10 so get in the car and listen to it. First quarter, Boston 40, Cleveland 34. Second quarter, Boston 19, Cleveland 15. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA is so goofy. 
Uh, hold on, I gotta do my. What what did you you did the whole broke breakdown right? But what who I pick NBA or whatever? Yeah, who I pick? Okay, so I gotta do the same thing. Fine, go. Boston Celtics versus SGA in the finals. Actually, actually, hold on. Boston Celtics get to the finals. Okay. Uh, SGA versus uh, uh, Ant Man in the Western Conference Finals. Okay. Goes to Game Seven. The world ends before the game is over. Uh, <laughs> yes. So you don't gotta choose exactly. Let's do top ten and go home. Boston wins the championship. <laughs> they can never win a championship. Even though you know I would prefer SGA or Ant Man to win a championship. I cannot watch Jason Tatum win the championship before Devin Booker, though. Which Why odds that? are um because to me they're like the same person. Like they can do it all and you'd be like, Boy, they're great. And then when it's time to, <laughs> when it's really we need you, we need you, fam. It just doesn't happen to work right. out. And I love Jason Tatum. You're stupid. And I love Devin Booker. But neither one of them bring that, yo, we, buddy, we need you. And they go, okay. And sure enough, back at home. Anyway, let's do this list so we can go home. No. Top 10 <laughs> cult classic sneakers to us. You want to say your honorable mentions? Yes. Because I'm going to go first. All right. Or unless you want to go first. I don't care. All right, what's your honorable mentions? I got zero honorable mentions. No, nah, you got a lot of them. Zero. Okay, the first one that I said earlier, uh, what did I say? Black, triple black Air Force One. I mean, y'all turned it into a ski mask and a, and a nine millimeter or, or a Glock. Uh, I mean, the shoe has a reputation it has for a reason. That probably should be number one, to be completely honest. Honestly, that probably would Alexa be a good comment. number one. <laughs> uh, I already said Russ Pink's uh, Jordan 1 High Dior. It was the first collab with a luxury brand. People went crazy for it. You could only get it from Dior. You couldn't get it anywhere else. You had to reserve it and then go pick your pair up. And people felt super, super special to the point that they were like bragging on social media that they got to hang out at the Dior store. But you ass didn't <laughs> buy nothing else at, while you were there. Uh, The ultimate honorable mention to me is not one shoe, but a grouping of shoes. Jordan 1 Low OG. Fam, we caught for full price, took them back, Fam. realized how bad our mistake was, and then went and copped all of them after that and still was chasing white and gray till like five years after the fact. Oh, okay. Those shoes are absolutely unquestioned cult classics. I don't know if that counts as oh, a cult Oh, it counts. Classic. If you buy something for full price and you're like, why did I buy this? And you take it back and then you realize your mistake and you rebuy it, it's a cult classic. But again, not one specific pair, just the all the, the realm or the genre in general. Realm. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, Nike Air Tech Challenge 2, Hot Lava, pick a colorway. I mean, uh, Andre Agassi took a bunch of colors that really nobody was using, hyped into, whatever, and he made it an aesthetic. Like, cult classic, though? Yes, absolutely That's a cult legendary. classic. legendary. Yes, absolutely a cult classic. But this is on a mention list. This is not top ten. Yeah, but, like, is Big Lebowski legendary? Yes, it's both. Uh, Nike uh, Air Foam Posit One Paranorman. The only way you get it was winning the Paranorman thing. People Sounds were, like you're doing a rare list. No, 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 not doing a rare list at all. People chasing a shoe that's actually pretty whack turned a whack shoe no, into no. a cult classic because of the competition. You see it in person; it jumps fire. Whatever the shoe sucks, and then people were putting on social media like how they won and were bragging over other people that did the same exact thing. Just put a spooky picture up. Is that what it was? <laughs> Yes. Okay, you gotta put a picture of yourself as a kid in Halloween or something, wasn't so, it? Yeah. Something a, like a that. A spooky picture from Halloween when you're a kid. I mean, that's kind of better than the nonsense they do now. Right. But if you win and I lose and we put the same picture, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm saying. They pick. Uh I read them so like you really this is another one where you really could do the whole pack, but I put the phone posit one uh Galaxy on here, Galaxy Foam, basically because you drew you drew a picture, walked down to my office. It's the only picture you've drew, you've drawn of a shoe you, to you this pretty day. much ruining my list, bro. To this day, you draw you drew the picture and then we found out cats were camping a week in advance, but they was letting them go home to take showers and go to work and stuff and come back to the line. I should have never let you do your own mentions. I mean, you still can do your top list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honorable mention for basically being a one-hit wonder, and I even saw somebody tweet this the other day. The shoe is one of the greatest shoes of all time. 
And the fact that he couldn't re- re- recreate it is hilarious, but Air Max 197, Sean Wotherspoon. <laughs> That's a good one. That's your honorable mention? Yes. That's a cult, good one. I didn't even think of that. Cult classic That's shoe, cult classic. specifically because he's mm. literally Mill- Millie Vanilli of shoes. I'm talking about that joint went like this. Uh, it just went <laughs> like this. <laughs> but his last one was okay. <laughs> The one he had with uh, That's the thing. Adidas. You keep saying okay on He had a couple of Adidas ones that was all right. Yeah, all right. No, they were fire. <laughs> no, they weren't. Yeah, they were. They were fire. They were okay. They were okay. Where's all he right. at today? Right. Where's he Regrouping. at? Regrouping. <laughs> he went exactly. back to the um, exactly. back to the lab. That's what if they call it. Know, went back to the lab. If you think he's doing well and you don't know where he's he at. He went back to the lab. <laughs> 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 Because round two designs closed now. Yeah. They don't they don't just sell vintage now. They sell like a round two brand. What's that? Uh, Larry David. Put the Larry David music in right here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 I've uh, never seen an episode of that show. Though. Well, you, that's another show. You I would oh, tell I know what you're talking that. about. Shows you got to go back that. and watch. I would tell Escape that the other day. He was like, fam, you must don't like anything on HBO. I never saw The Wire. Only thing I watched was Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> I just went back and watched Band of Brothers. I watched control. Game of Thrones. I went back and watched. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. I, HBO shows I just never cared for that much. I just, Sh- shows on TV. Sex in the City. I went back with oh, Rosie. That's watched. what I was gonna say. The show that you need to go uh, go. Everyone needs to go back and watch because it's probably the most underrated show of all time, and not doesn't not get the respect it deserves, or maybe it does, but you don't see it no more. True Detective season one. Might have been the greatest season of television in history um, that is disrespected. It's definitely. I don't know if it was disrespected. I People think hold was. that in high regards. So. I think critics did, but I don't think like it's talked about enough. Well, I think people didn't watch it at the time. I think they go back and watch it. I know a lot of people that are currently watching it now. Even like watching season all three was detectives. fire too, but it still can't hold a candle. To season season one. three was with uh, Mahershal Ali. Ah, oh, that was okay. No, it was fine. It wasn't whack. It was better than a uh, second season. Well, of but course, second season was universally panned. It was it sucked. It wasn't that bad, but it was. I'm a Vince Vaughn fan and a, a uh, an Irishman uh, fan, Vince but man, Vince Vaughn is okay. No, no, no he's fire, but he got to get him in the right scenario. Well, yeah. he's in Swingers. He's a spectacular role in Swingers. That's one of the greatest fine. roles of that all time. That came out in what the nineties. Like, that doesn't you don't lose your fastball. I mean, I'm, uh... you just choose to make your money easier by doing stupid roles. Like oh. Nicolas Cage still can do the. He could still win an Oscar, but just because for the twenty five years know. in the middle, he was like, "Give me national treasures." Instead. Although he's coming back, he's trying to slowly come back, though. Like I said, you don't lose your fastball; you just put it away for a little bit. Well, according to you, Justin Verlander should have lost his Justin fastball. Justin Verlander and he got has him back. to use his actual arm to do it, so okay. that's a little bit different. All right. Uh, next on the list, there's two more. Next on the list, I just picked this one, but it's the one that set it off for people wanting these type of shoes. Type. The Jordan 3, you'll understand, Jordan 3 pit crew organ ducks. I knew you were going to put the, an organ somewhere on there. Honorable mention. Who cares about these organ duck shoes? But, yes, they have developed a cult classic. People keep asking for these whack organ duck shoes. Now, the three's not whack because it's basically a black cement. The green five, nice shoe, nice materials, whatever. The 14, kind of like kind of a lot of whack. Them. What's that? You like kind of a lot of the Oregon Duck shoes. I mean, so. uh, you sh- describe them as if they're the whack, but you kind of like a lot no, of them. No, they're pretty fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, yes. You I'm, just said they're whack. No, no, no. I'm going through the list of the ones that are good. Uh, they're, they're pretty much all good. The fours? Not, uh, not all of them. The fours? They're good. Uh, the black ones are probably less than the white ones, but they're both good. Th- there are some ones in there that are bad. Uh, and the last honorable mention is. They're literally well. You had to go to space camp to get this shoe originally. The Tom saxophone, <laughs> Mars Yard, definitely That's had that definitely. shoe sucked when it came out. What in now, the world is on following. your list? Because you got about three or four on that honorable mentions that are like I, I, you couldn't deny I told the you, there's cult, a lot. the cultability of them. There's a lot. All right, I'm gonna do my list first. My list may be trash now. Number ten, I got Gamma Elevens. <laughs> you huh? said the cultability. <laughs> gamma Gamma Elevens for the last two years on social media have been people begging for a retro of it. And I've been like, you guys hated these when these came out. <laughs> Absolutely hate them. And now they're like, yo, we need it. Fam, stop. So it's developed some sort of cult following from it. <laughs> Number nine, I got the Reebok S. Doc Carters. Um, 
them joints had them joints is just a sheer copy of Gucci sneakers, but it had a nice little cult for just like G units and things <laughs> like that, ice creams and stuff like that. They had a nice little cult following to them. And I feel like if they retro S dot Carters, I think people will go out there and move for them. One colorway, one drop. I think they'd move for them. Number eight, I got the Deodora N9000, the purple tapes, the Raekwon purple tape. Um, like they only built for Cuban links. I mean, it has a cult following for it. That one. And that was a Packer collaboration and the other Packer collaboration that matched the uh, Ralph Lauren jacket, I think. I forgot what it was called. It was like blue, red, and white. But anyways, I got purple tape Deodora. Number seven. Number seven to me is a cult classic because after these, it just went downhill. The human race OG yellow Pharrell. <laughs> like, those original colors came out black, red, blue, yellow, green, orange. And then from there, downhill. And there are plenty of human races way better than those. But that yellow one, if it dropped again, it copped. It has a, those original OG colorways <laughs> have a cult following. To me, number six, number six, I got the Jordan 4 undefeated. I know you probably got it somewhere high on your list, if not on mm, it. Not that much higher than you. The Jordan 4 undefeated. Yeah, the whole story is. I mean, I don't think anybody thinks it's whack, but. This may be one of, if not obviously, a lot of SBs and things like that, but the fact that they've held out this long from coming out with the retro is kind of insane for Jordan Brand. Like, we're talking, I don't <laughs> even, like, that's a, this is a really long time to hold out and make us wait for this if they ever plan on retro and the undefeated Jordan 4. I mean, it's highly sought after, you know, but it, it's so far gone now that, like, we don't even think about it anymore. Like, it's just and now it's a unicorn. So um number five, I got um oh this one I wasn't too sure about, but like I did the trainer two SB Supreme. It's a rare Supreme sneaker that nobody talks about. It's a trainer two SB Supreme. They had a blue one, a black one, a white one, and a red one. Anytime you see these in person still, they're all cracked. Every single one is cracked. The netting is cracked. The Velcro is cracked. The sole is cracked. You'll be hard-pressed to find a pair that's wearable or DS, period. Um, number four, I got the Air Stab Foot Patrols. Air Stab Foot Patrols, all of mine are cracked. I got two pairs. One I bought cracked and one became cracked. And I got the Atmos pair. It just cracked on me, all right? People love air stabs, but it just never got the love that it did. Even when they retro air stabs, they never got the love that they should have gotten from people. Air stabs are fire. Foot Patrol in particular because it matched the colors of the Foot Patrol and Ninja Turtles, the, the clan or whatever they are. Um, number three, I got Blazer Supremes. You know, the Supreme, the Blazer has a following within his own. I'm not a Blazer fan. But I would cop a Supreme Blazer in a heartbeat. And I don't understand why they don't do more mid Blazers. And the mid Blazers that do exist don't get the love like a Supreme Blazer. Yes, the Supreme Supreme Blazer was Gucci colors and quilted and fine leather. But come on, man. Uh, number two, I got Jordan 1 Rust Pink. Fam. <laughs> it's honestly whack now. Because there are so many Jordan 1s that are very similar that are close enough to that, that are better than that, that it's obsolete. I don't care how rare it is. I could name 20 Jordan 1s that are better than that, if not equal to that. But for whatever reason, it's $3,000 on StockX. <laughs> and number one, you said it, I'm going to mention Galaxy Foams. I mean, anybody who doesn't own a phone posit would buy a Galaxy Foam. Like, people that didn't own a phone posit don't like phone posits, wanted a Galaxy Foam. Like... It's it's considered by many the only foam posit that they would own if they copped a foam posit. <laughs> like there are plenty of people like I don't like foams, but I'm copping those. Plenty of people for those. So when they retro next year, I expect those to be flying off the shelves. There's one that you left off that I will not let you live down, sir. <laughs> okay. What's your list? Hold so on a go second. Home. I gotta I gotta click watch on eBay for this. Dang, what is it? Victor Wimbiambas? <laughs> Not quite, but boy, these cats want to wear Anthony Williams. I mean, uh, uh, Anthony Edwards, so bad. This cat got Nike socks on with him. All right, bro. <laughs> like if you're gonna tuck your pants inside your socks. 
to show off your Anthony Edwards sneakers, you can't be wearing Nike socks. <laughs> I could care le- I could care less about what socks you wear typically, but if you tuck your pants in the socks, you're making some type of anyway. Somebody posted <laughs> somebody had what uh Adidas pants, a Puma jacket and Nike's on today or something at a store and somebody like put, took a picture and said kill me. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like that's got to be a young person because that's the kind of stuff we used to care about but n- no more. <laughs> I mean, you'll never catch me wearing like Nike socks with Vans or whatever like the teenagers do, but fam, the days of caring about that stuff are over. All right, anyways, let's see. Hold on, man or got weathermans? I just sent it to the thread. Uh, when is it coming out? <sighs> Probably the next eclipse. Let me see. <laughs> and this post they posted is weird. Uh, hold on. Nah, you want me to hit them up? Uh, I'm about to hit them up, though, see if we is, get them unlocked. What is this? Is that the Gilbert store? Because that... He yeah, asked Gilbert. Oh, I said that, that car dealership or whatever he used yeah, that video. A lot of people use that video. You want me to hit him up? I mean, yeah, but what, <laughs> what do you hit who up? <laughs> what does that mean? Hit up the person, but yo, is it possible if we can get this? Yes, yeah, so a 12 and a half and a 10. Hey, no you don't want a nine and a half. half. No. There, there better be. <laughs> you know, ain't no 12 and a half and no <laughs> KD4. Uh, anyways, what's your list? Let's go. That video is insane, bro. (laughs) You saying pew is crazy. (laughs) Number 10. The shoe that started off the cult classic for his line. Jordan 1 Retro High OG Travis Scott Mocha. Shock drop that nobody could get. Every shoe that came out afterwards that was a Mocha shoe or similarly designed shoe. The shoe came with pink laces, did it not? Yes. Number 10. Okay. Number nine. The SB that started it all. I'm, I'm I know say, you ain't about to say it. I have it on my list. I'm, what I'm you about a, to say? I'm about to say a lot of started it all, family. Dunk low, what the dunk. Okay. I didn't have that one. I had Paris on my list. The fir- No, no. I'm not, I don't got Paris. The first. I thought about putting that on there. Maybe, but there's two other ones. That I can't think of a reason why instead. I put the what the dunk, and and now that's a good reason. That's a good reason. It's the, it first, the first what the dunk. It's the first what the it's shoe the in general. The... So that's a good one. When it came out, people were like, "Ew, what is this?" Now, oh uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't remember hearing anybody having any people negative thoughts. People did not against love that dunk. shoe when it first came out. Well, it sure was hard to get. Well, it wasn't hard to were, get for Riff. Every star, <laughs> the he stores had like one, four. one size run. Ten or store, something. I don't whatever. know what he had copped. It made sense that Nike SB in that era didn't make a ton of pairs because it's not like you had a bunch of people camping out or, or, or going around for that I shoot. I said he dropped out of college to go cop them or something like that. Maybe he came on the podcast and said he dropped out of college to go be able to cop those <laughs> what the dunks or something like I that. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, family. Dropping out of college to cop dunks is crazy, but he started Riff, so. Number eight. Nike SB Dunk Low Diamond Supply Tiffany. On the list because did you know what Diamond Supply was before that shoe came out? No. Uh, no. Yeah. No, no one did. I did. No, you didn't. I knew what Diamond Supply was. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No one knew what Diamond Supply was until I that did. came out. There's, you guys didn't. There's, okay. The, I had a Diamond Supply wallet. Like, oh, so you knew what it was then? A long then. time ago. No, no. I don't remember the years exactly, but it was very early on. I knew but what it was. Did people know what Diamond Supply was? No, they did not. They Stop thought calling it, it was, Tiffany, too. They thought it was literally a Tiffany shoe. Stop calling it that. Like like Tiffany, the company Tiffany. I'm not calling it Tiffany no more. I don't know what that means. As Diamond Supply. I don't I don't know what that means. I'm not calling a dunk Tiffany no more. What don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> I mean uh, uh, well, when are we? When is this conversation happening? Where the, the, we talk about diamond supply dunks <laughs> pretty often. You don't need uh, to tell me. <laughs> we talk about diamond supply dunks pretty often. I mean, whatever. There's also the picture of the kid wearing complete turquoise and black outfit walking out of the store <laughs> with the shoes on. Yeah, he's a nerd. Clearly, we don't even know if he's still alive. Well, actually, he could be hanging out. Back with- then, he may not have been a nerd. Today. <laughs> like once we saw like five years afterwards, no. he could be with Teddy Flapjack in the sky or <laughs> or wherever Teddy Flapjack is. Hopefully, he's still alive. Uh, I, well, think I don't he know. Like there, he probably got Tiffany Air Force Ones in commemoration. Okay, Diamond Supply, uh, very cultish shoe. Yes, yeah. people wanted it when it came out, but they want it even more now. It's it's definitely a cult shoe. Yeah. 
Number seven, the only reason this is on the list is really because the documentary. Jordan 1, OG Chicago. It's the only Jordan 1 on the list. Oh, 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 don't do that. When that documentary came out, the world, like Rico said, it was set on fire for New Balances. No, 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 no. Okay. The world was really set on fire for Jordan 1 Chicago. It was set on we fire for went, anything Chicago. Jordan 1 Chicago. Not just Jordan 1s. Anything that had Chicago on it was on fire. Mainly Jordan 1 Chicago's. We went, yes, thank you. We went to get Chicago's with the Jordan logo instead of the Nike Air before, and no one gave a rootin' tootin' darn. After that, that shoot, from the I'm pretty sure it was over $1,000. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the next SB that started it all, number six, Nike SB Dunk High Skunk 420. That I was gonna might put skunk be, on there, but I didn't know if that, it, that it's such it's it's like the number one dunk of all time. That might yeah, well that that is really the shoe that signified to me that dunks were gonna be number one, impossible to get, and prices through the roof. That was really the first one that went like this immediately. Just like dunks that. didn't do it before that, and also it inspired Cheech and Chong shoe and whatever else with the uh, stash pocket and all the other stuff. Colt shoe. Number five, you had it on your list. You thought I would have it higher. I, you had a six. I had a five. Jordan four, undefeated. There's the whole story about Kobe pulling up to the release. They only made whatever it was, 50 pairs or whatever the story goes. All the stories that go along with these shoes are all Colt shoes. Had a Nike, backpack, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nike still hasn't remade it or or undefeated hasn't remade it. I don't it, know and they what used, they're waiting for. We're now calling that shoe like the colorway of green and or olive and orange is undefeated and it's almost exclusively because of that one shoe uh number four maybe they shouldn't the reason for number four is it literally another thing that set the world on fire of a whole pack now like i said earlier Protection pack if no if you want to pick a different shoe from the pack because you think it's better that's fine jordan one high off white chicago literally set the world on fire, had us sitting at our computers trying to enter in raffles for these shoes. If you want to put the Presto on there or one I of the other ones, the that's presto. fine. Put the Presto, something from the off-white pack, got to be on there. V Virgil passed away, you know, RIP, whatever else. Increased the uh, desire of the shoe. It's a cold shoe. Like, it has no business being $5,000. Yeah, but it's still a Jordan 1. So put the Presto on there. It's fine. Yeah, the uh, Presto one I would shoe, go. An off-white shoe needs to be on I there. didn't own. And it's also, well, the reason I put that is because it's also a Chicago, which is another thing that makes it go even more because of the documentary and because of Virgil. If I didn't, I didn't own a Presto. I had a couple of Prestos when I was younger, but I didn't own, I didn't have a Presto in my collection. All the sneakers I got until that off-white one came out and I traded that cost. Actually, there's two shoes you had on your, you should have on your list that you don't have on there because of where we are at when the second one happened. So number three. This one you definitely should have had on your list because you were there. I missed it. The reason why it's a cult classic oh, is pretty much about. obvious. That's band one. Ones, 2011 Band Ones. That's not what I was going to say. Okay. Well, number two you might get right because you were <laughs> – that was the night when you met, Cor <laughs> when you met Coors Light that night. <laughs> no, first, not that one. The Ooh, first what? Time. You think that's a cult following one? Whoa. Hold on. We'll get Whoa. to it. Whoa. Don't even do that. Nah. Okay. Yes. Nah. Number three – Band ones literally had cats camping out of outlets for the first time ever. First time camping out of outlets, people got back in line, got another one. I called the store that had them first and released before anyone else, and the only sizes they had left, they told me they had four pairs left, a 10 and a half, a 14, a bunch of sizes, and I tried calling the store all day long. Once I, I think it was either in Seattle or in Oregon. No, we called... No, no, it was I was a Nike outlet. It was either in Oregon or, or Washington. I'm pretty sure it was Oregon because that's where Nike is. But it was one of those stores, the Pacific Northwest. It was the only one that took phone orders, and their phone was basically it gave the busy signal the entire day. I finally got through around five or six p.m. and they were like, "We have four pairs left. Which size do you want?" And it was none of my sizes: ten and a half, thirteen, fourteen, whatever. And I said, oh, "I'm good," and I passed on it like a moron. Then the release happened here on like a Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Was I was Wednesday? at work. I was not going. And I heard like it was easy to get because people got back in line and got second or me, third pair. It was me, Chris Sewell. I can't 
can't remember who the other cats, but they had them joints lined, stacked up in front of the window in Arizona Mills, like the main window <laughs> just stacked, and we were like, oh. And now, I only got two because I was already like, dang it, man, I didn't want to put this on my credit card, but I was like, ah, I'll get two. Ended up selling both for what, 800 East? 800 East to that Middle Eastern man? But that was like years, years, years later. But that was bad omen because then once I sold those two, I could never get a bread one ever again in my life. Till Don bless me. Pause. So that to this day, people talk about ban one leather, whatever else. And honestly, you could probably could have put uh, shadow backboard, maybe shadow backboard. bigger oh, coat, yeah. maybe. No, nah, I don't think it's bigger because it, of the story the... with bands, but. Yeah, but the Band story had was the X on the box, the, whatever else. No other shoe had the X on the box. Everybody's wore it like Band. That's fine, but everybody compares everything to Shattered Backboard Leather. Young people do. Uh, and a lot of people do. Young people do. And I, a lot of people had never even heard of that story of them shattering the backboard in Italy like that or whatnot. That's and never, fine. A lot of people heard of that. It's That's fine. Band, so put it on your list. Band 1's higher. Number 2. The fact that you think Yeezy 2, I didn't put no Adidas Yeezys on here because Yeezy 2 Red October should be on the list. Red October's fam spawned the name Red October for every other monochrome red shoe after that. The fact that it released like in halftime or whatever of the NBA game and people were on their phones going crazy. To this day, people still go back and retweet the original Nike tweet that was said Red Octobers are online now. I remember exactly Cold where I was. Classic, man. yes. The you fact were that man I remember California. The fact. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Red October. Not for Red Octobers. Yes, you were. No, we weren't. So, I was at my house with Red Octobers. We went to California and got Zen Grace. Yeah, I know. And then Red Octobers released while we were watching the game. We walked out to the car to get our phone. Red Octobers. No, I was at the house when Red October's dropped. Then what was the shoe that released? Because I'm pretty sure it was Red October's. I think it was the black one, no, wasn't it? No, it was Red October's. I don't remember. Yes, it was. Red October's. That. That's why. I remember where I was when Red October's dropped and 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> okay. That's a fact. Also, when, when Barack caught Osama bin Laden, I remember where I was. I was in Chipotle. And I remember Captain Chipotle was like, this is USA. USA, <laughs> USA, me and Rocio zoomed to the house to turn the news on. And Obama got up there and said, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, we have confirmed. Uh, <laughs> you know what you sound like right now? <laughs> the kill of Osama bin Laden. You they was like, like Tiger Woods right now. USA, USA. You know what Tiger USA. Woods I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> and then number one, I don't know why you didn't have this on your list either. This is literally the shoe that spawned the entire craze of the world. Pigeon NYC Dunk Low. Like, uh, well, uh, what? Uh, uh, I mean, that's the number one cult shoe of all time. Way more say, than uh, Paris or whatever else. I thought you were going to say, we probably should have put South Beach LeBron 8s on there, too. You could put that one on there. You could put Miami Knights on there because of the whole story with only 500 pairs in a warehouse or whatever. Fam, First NYC of all, that Pigeon, was you were the only person that had that story. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't make it up. No, nah, you were the only person on the planet on who had that story. Though. somebody somewhere. Yeah, you put it on there. You I put it on you, Nike Talk. <laughs> yeah, I bet you go look at Soul Collector. It's still on there. No? You was the only person on this planet that had in Inside information on some uh, warehouse in Miami. <laughs> of right. my, that's 100% facts. Pigeon NYCs. By, facts. By far. They had to escort people out the back so they didn't get robbed in New York City. And that's fine. Number one. But I think we probably should have put Durham Becker Fours on here somewhere. No, you could put that because you were actually the release. I wasn't there, so I, that's why I didn't put it. Yeah, but the shoe itself is sort of a cult classic. It's probably still to this day the greatest Durham Becker of all time. Yeah, but that's like a low bar. I mean, it's though. not that low. It's pretty low. I mean, it's not high, but it ain't, it ain't that <laughs> it's low. Pretty, pretty low. <laughs> it's not that low. <laughs> that bar is pretty low. <laughs> the greatest design Doran Becker happened about 10 years ago. However long ago that was. All right, I got nothing else. Anything else? Appreciate everybody. Appreciate the Believe uh, platform. Uh, go to bed online. Do your thing. Anything else, George? Let's sneak this. Pow, 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 pow. Ping, pow, 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 p